Hello, hello. I am streaming Okage Shadow King, a game I have never experienced before. But look, we start off with bagpipes. I think that's already pretty promising. And all this cute graphic design. And some math, actually. Stan, a ghost king, plus hero. Uh, I can't see what that says. Something, a hero story, I think. Equals adventure. Ghost plus king also equals Stan. That's, that's all we need to know. Boy of story, thank you. I will be the next Okage. I hope this isn't like a spoilery attract mode. I don't know. But we get bagpipes, so. Nox, do you know Okage? I guess we're just gonna uh, enjoy this parade for a bit. <laughs> Something about this reminds me of, like, Paper Mario, but also Final Fantasy IX? And the Baby Raid is here. Hello, Baby Raid. I hope the volume is good for everyone. You know what this parade really needs, of course, is Luigi. I mean, there's a clown. I guess that's good enough. Now, does this just go on forever? This little parade. No, I guess it doesn't. Because I, I don't want to skip past... Oh, there's there's presumably, like, a mare. He looks like an egg. And you know mares are always egg. Mares are always high in cholesterol. Oh, you look at any mare from any video game. Oh, a jar. And you tell me they're not high in cholesterol. Okay, there's there's a guy shuffling. Could be a Resident Evil zombie. Picking up a jar. Maybe. From a parade. Maybe maybe it's the jar that Luigi got stuck in. In uh Origami King. Yeah, like the nightmare before Christmas mare. Um or I was thinking about the mayor from, like, Harvest Moon, like, Mineral Town. Even, even the mayor from Wadham. He's a square egg. Alright, there was a parade, and a man, and a jar. That's all we get, I guess. Okay. By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll be happy to know that I am using my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I have hooked it up. And it took me a bit to troubleshoot because it was not behaving like it should. And then I tried doing some digging and after going through multiple snarky, obnoxious forum replies when people had similar issues, I found it Steam. Anyway, we're going to keep the protagonist's name Ari. I guess I could name them Mori, but I'm going to keep it Ari. The boy meets the king. <laughs> da -da -da -da. I am a super mom. I am a beautiful wife. A stupendous chef. A doting mother. <laughs> La -da -da. So modest. Hi, Mom. What's for dinner tonight? Oh, Annie. You've just ate lunch. You'll burst your little frame. Come on, it smells good. Tell me, tell me. See, Ari came too. As you will see, this story starts with an ordinary conversation of an ordinary family and with the inconspicuous boy who appeared behind his little sister. Unexpected as it may be, this unassuming boy is the hero of this peculiar tale we are about to see. Mom, Mom, come on! What's for dinner tonight? Stew or steak? Well, Ari, what do you think? I want stew. Well, the answer is... A secret! Mom, it's not fair! Aw, oh, tell me, please! Hmm, well, let me see. 
<laughs> oh, that reminds me, Ari. Dad brought back a funny bottle yesterday. Look, it's out there on the table. But we couldn't get the cap off of the bottle. Don't you think it's strange? Um, I'm gonna try and take off the cap. I'm gonna flex with my incredible strength. The cap won't budge an inch. Well, I mean, look at those arms. See? I wonder what's in there. Mom! It's pointless to have a bottle we can't open. Throw it away. Well, let's see. What should we do? Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to pick up bread. Isn't that a loaf of bread right behind her? I'm busy cooking, so I can't go. Hmm, what should I do? Well, I, I could do it, I guess. I need to get out of this house. The energy is weird. That's my brother! Hmm? Me? I, uh, I would, but darn it all, I have a test tomorrow at school. I can't sacrifice my education, right? Okay, Ari. Pick up the bread at the bakery in the village. It will be put on our tab there, so you can just pick it up. Thank you! Thanks, Mom. Is this actually connected to Hat Kid or is that a joke? It's a joke, but... Now, granted, I've never played this game before either, but my understanding is that Hat Kid's lawyer BFF may or may not have some DNA from a character in this game. See, there's bread right there. And look, there's, there's a cholesterol-filled mare right there. Go to Tennel Village and pick up the bread at the bakery. Thank you, Ari! Oh, you know what? Before you go to the bakery, why don't you drop by and see your dad at the town hall? Ah, oh, the man I love hard at work. Oh, I wish I could see your father in action. Such rapture. He's probably like stamping papers right now. Finally, a franchise who the cast of Code Geass could beat at arm wrestling. <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, I think, yeah, these, these characters look a lot more top-heavy than the cast of Code Geass. I think we could, like, judo throw them. Hello? We got some moomins in here. Oh, Ari, it's a nice day, isn't it? This kind of day reminds me of my youth, going here and there. I always had my sword with me. Our family is an adventurer's family. You know that, son? Your mom went on an adventure when she was young and met your father. When she was young, your mom was strong and spirited, just like she is now. But not me is the implication. Nice, nice tropical shirt that grandfather was wearing. Yes, dear. Right, dear. La lady, a few words. I can respect that. We really do live in some kind of Resident Evil house. Also, look at this incredible fire hazard. Like, all these musty old books. And this carpet. Like, I think this is somebody's Sims house. It is pronounced Gias. I knew uh, when I... Before I'd seen the series, I had no idea. But it is pronounced Gias. And I also had no idea how to pronounce the protagonist's name. Until I heard it said out loud. Because it looks like Lilouch, but it's Lelouch. It's locked! Force it open. Come on, noodle boy. It won't budge. Great. Let's check the keyhole. It's an unusual diamond-shaped keyhole. Is there like a secret door in... Well, I was gonna say a secret door in my house that no one can go behind, but then... Uh, there's also a door that's boarded up? I don't actually know how it's written in Kana. But it is Gias. It's Ari's room. What am I gonna do? I guess I'll rest? No, I don't need to rest. I'll save. Boop. Neutral. Normal. Nor okay, we're, we're double normal, and we're also neutral. This is an extra normal boy. I'm actually surprised to, to backpedal a bit. So I knew at least one person here was familiar with this game. I didn't know Nox also knew Okage. Yeah, Lil Ouch. Like the Lil Oinks from Paper Mario. It's locked. Another diamond-shaped keyhole. They really do live in a Resident Evil house. Okay, nothing in here for me. I guess it's not my room. Oh, it is Gias. Just no long vowel. Well, there you go. Who is this mysterious lady who has her portrait here and also by the fireplace? But also, I guess we have another mayor man, so... I'm not here to judge the interior decorating decisions of this house. Maybe a little bit. 
Anything in the basement for me? No. This is a very odd house, though. Like, most of the furniture is covered up by sheets. Like, we have this big manse, but we don't really live in it. Maybe that's our mom before she got her anime mom hairstyle. Maybe. She does have a little cloak. Could be your adventuring gear. I can always count on Nox to know old, weird, and obscure media. Are you calling Nox old? Now we're getting some tunes. And here is our Emoto. And then, what's for dinner? Oh, come on, tell me! Um, what happened to your homework? Homework? Oh, never mind. Well, I'm going out for a twilight date before dinner with Morris. To polish my feminine airs. I have to build up experience while I'm young. My book says so, too. Uh, what, what kind of book says so? It's Mom's book. What was the name? Um... Controlling guys made easy. Well, enjoy your errand, Ari. La da da. <laughs> it's the same song our mom was singing. Is that how you control guys? You just go la 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 <laughs> in a nondescript way. She does have pretty cool hair baubles. And Ari has a cool little hairband. Man who drank, gambled, and died from poisonous fish just as he planned. R.I.P. R.I.P. Nameless Hero. Well, we think he must have had a name, but nobody asked him. Person who touched the knowledge of the library. That, that's ominous. <laughs> Just as he planned. Maybe that's how he said he wanted to go out to all his buddies. Control guys by singing at them. Is our mom a siren? Hello, fellow children. Oh, Nancy? Or oh, Connie? Uh, what's up? What's wrong? Whoa, you scared me! Oh, it's you, Ari. When did you show up? Well, I didn't even notice. Ari, oh, you look real gloomy. Anyway, you know what? The circus is coming to the field over there tomorrow night. Uh, sounds like fun. I I'm definitely gonna ask Julie out this time. I, I, I will do it. And me and Julie are gonna go out on a romantic date. I wonder who I should ask out. Ari, why don't you ask somebody out too? It's the circus. Um, I'm obviously such a ladies man. I, I gotta narrow down my list. <laughs> I bet he doesn't have the guts to ask a girl out. <laughs> Chicken. Yeah, it takes one to know one, bud. Oh, you're in the middle of an errand, huh? You better go quick. To Tennel Village. Go straight. You know that. You've been here since you were born. You don't know my backstory. Maybe I have amnesia. I'm an RPG protagonist. Leave me alone. You know, I heard about Guardian's Crusade forever ago. I, I meant to look into it because I love reading about weird PlayStation RPGs. I never owned a PlayStation, and I didn't get a PS2 till very late in its life cycle. And there's a lot of weird games that I missed out on that I'd love to try. How was Guardian's Crusade? Oh, she's my childhood friend, my Osana Najimi. Hi, Julia. Uh, hello, Julia. Don't worry, I'm used to being ignored. Stealthy, aren't I? Huh? Oh, Ari. I was daydreaming. Sorry about that. Hey. Did you know the circus is coming tomorrow night? Um, I, I didn't know. Because I have amnesia. Isn't it great? It's the circus. So, aren't you going to ask me to go to the circus with you? Sure. Sorry. Somebody else already asked me. If you'd have asked me earlier. Um, sometime soon, I... I need to tell you something important. Um, uh, I have to go. See you. Okay, bye. I like your outfit, though, and we just pivot in place to stare blankly. You never finished it, but it was very cute and got you interested in RPGs. Oh, clothes due to water shortage. We don't get guests anyway. 
Landlord of Inn. I don't I don't think you should brag about that. Also, is this called the Parm Inn? Like Parmesan? Can I go into the meat store's open? My choice for her delivery has you properly scared of her. There is definitely something up with her. Come on. Hello? Hi, how can I help you? Good thing water is in stock. We're gonna be open today. Ground beef is 20 sukul today. Buy now or it may not be here tomorrow. I don't, I don't know why I need ground beef, but yeah. Hey, how are ya? That was the last of the meat we have for today. Now I'm ready to close. Ari has acquired ground beef. I'm just gonna shove this ground meat directly into my pockets. Getting ready to close today. If we continue to get no water, we might not open tomorrow. The instrumentation, like the the main instrument in here reminds me of, of some music from Raymond too. Butcher, fatties. The chicken parm in. Maybe it's the eggplant parm in. Or both. Just says meat, I guess. They say there's gorst in, gorst? <laughs> they say there's gorst in our neighbor town Madrill lately. Brr, scary. Madrill, never heard of it. Never been there. It's a big town with lots of machines. It's in a different class than Tennel. Yeah, that is a cool mouth guy. And like your head mustache. What a design. Like, look at this tie. Great character design already. Oh dear, this just won't do. The water supply is stopped and almost all the stores are closed. It's under investigation now. It might be related to the ghosts. If that's the case, we're in big trouble. Gorsh stole my vehicle vehicle. Oh, I'm not gonna live that down either. Tinker. Can't do business without water. I'll be sleeping. Blacksmith shop owner. There we go. Baker's Bakery. La 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 la. La 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 la. Oh, she's also trying to control men. Excuse me. La 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 la. La 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 la. Stare displeasingly. I, I mean, I'm already doing that. Hello? Huh? Oh, it's you, Ari. Don't I always tell you? A boy should speak up. You've come to pick up the bread, right? Here you are. Anything bothering you? Come on, keep your chin up, boy. Girls like the assertive ones now. Ari has acquired loaf for pickup. Why are people, like, trying to goad me into dating girls? What if Ari doesn't want to date anybody? Leave me alone. All right, off you go before the loaf gets cold. I gotta go fix dinner for my husband, too. Bread tab, bread tab. I want a bread tab. That would be really dangerous, actually. Hi, Ari. Running errands? Don't take it personally. She has a sharp tongue, but she cares about you, really. Your cholesterol also looks like it's through the roof. Eggman. You got the master plan. You are the Eggman. Oh, it's it's dark. Ari, are you done with the errands? Okay, then let's go home. I think dinner is ready. What's wrong? Did the bakery woman lecture you again? Yes, make me relive it. Let's see. Ari, you're the type that blends into someone else's shadow. Oh well, at least there's someone who sees some good in you. <laughs> For instance, Julia. You lucky guy. Yeah. Thus the boy, being teased by Annie, made his way home. And the next night... I didn't think I'd, you know, get kicked back to my house without getting to explore town so soon. Oh well. We spent a long time staring in that bread shop. Mmm. This crest is, I think... Mmm. Man, I didn't even get to visit her dad, who looks like a total square. <laughs> Your father is crazy about the bottle. He really likes antiques. Oh, you know what? The circus is in the field outside the village tonight. Ari, Annie, 
Why don't you go and have fun? All right, Ma. See you later. Our parents are going to play spin the bottle. Oh, Annie. You shouldn't go out alone at night. Go with your brother. Don't worry. Chad is picking me up. la di da I going, I going out on a date tonight. Whatever happened to Morris? Oh, Annie. The boy is picking you up? You've grown up. I'm so happy for you. You're controlling men like a pro. I going. Morris resisted her control. Yeah, he's he's no longer interesting to her. Oh, Annie, she looks so happy. Come on, Ari, why don't you go and have fun too? Oh, I was worried I got traps. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. That's always scary in old RPGs. Ari, my son. Let's talk for a while, boy. <clears throat> this this bottle. This bottle is I gotta go to the circus. Oh, it's it's awesome! Purple is so cool. Oh, you know the difference! Good. Listen, this crest on the bottle is... If my theory is correct, this crest is in the shape of the tail of the rainbow rat that only comes out by moonlight. Namely... Uh-huh, and... Among those ancient rituals, at the curve of the handle is... told by the shoelace weaver, with the proper harmonics, all you need is a little garlic, 200 degrees for an hour. No, wait, let me see. And yes, no, no. Then it's simple quantum physics. Uh huh. Just... two hours later. Oh my God, I'm <laughs> gonna miss the circus. Therefore, because this is my conclusion. Do you understand, son? <laughs> The circus. Huh? Circus. Oh, the circus! Yes, the circuit was tonight. Circus was tonight, right. I won't just stand there. Go and have some fun, boy. I I've missed the entire circus. I wish... Well, maybe you can't see Ari's face. But I like to think he was asleep for that. Just like Mario would be. At two hours later. Just looking at my map here. Okay. So there's, I guess, the right is town, and then is the circus to the left? Oh, it's so dark and spooky. Hello? It's dangerous to go out there at night. I can't believe I got this shift tonight. I wish I could go to the circus. I bet that's Morris. Hello? You stole my date. Good evening. Hey, Ari. What's going on? The circus is over. <laughs> You're such a dork. You always miss out. I was being a good child. Hi, Julia. I know a place with a great view. Come on, let's take a walk. See ya, Ari. Bye. Come on, there's totally something going on with her. Tennel Forest. When here, managed by circus people. Tennel Town Hall. Hello, Egg. Other Egg Man. Ah, the joy of a drink after work. Ah, hey, kiddo. Circus is already over. By the way, kid. Your spirit seems overshadowed. Everybody tells you that, huh? Thanks for bringing that. <laughs> Why is everyone so mean to me? Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I see. Well, you know, you're very overshadowed. Watch yourself now. <laughs> Be strong, kiddo. <laughs> What, what a not deeply alarming conversation at all by... I can't tell if that's a mustache or his mouth. Or both. It's just both. Man, I can't even see, like, the dregs of clowns anywhere. That's so sad. It is probably the so-called stone circle. Probably. Is that part of the circus? Is that just there? Did you set up the circus on hallowed ground? 
I mean, what better place to set up a circus, really? Oh my god! Oh no! It's a ghost! It's a ghost! That's like a big cute blob. Oh. The translation is a little wonky, but it's charming. What's wrong? What's going on? Annie! Annie! Open your eyes, Annie! Thus, on the night of the circus, this happy family fell on serious misfortune. Great, something is wrong with the good child. That's all for now. Take care. Even the doctor, what a face. It looked like he had tusks. Oh my god. Son, Annie. Annie is... God. Oh, Annie. Annie, my poor little thing. My granddaughter. My granddaughter. Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, that's right, honey. Cool, do it again! I mean, I does Ari understand pig Latin? Annie, pull yourself together! Annie is... Annie is... Under the curse of pig Latin! Oh my god! Oh my car! I ain't K leave bay today! It's a dreadful curse in which you can only speak in pig Latin! The victim skips the first consonant of a word and adds it to the end with an A! Oh, Annie, Annie, you poor little thing. I... as we... tacte bay a host gay! Brother bay, elfe, him a... I am a... a talk... Alk, alking day, lay eared way! The pig Latin curse. I used to play it often for fun when I was little. Oh, me too. I used to speak in pig Latin, like Udge Orning May. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's right, honey. Guys, Annie's in trouble. Everybody, stop it! If we don't do something, Annie will, Annie will become some comic relief girl, not a precocious pretty princess. This is horrible. I don't day ant way o tay bay a omic gay a leaf ray earl gay! What should we do? How could we break the ghost curse? Uh huh, uh huh, that's right, honey. If we don't do something, my little Annie will become comic relief! Oh no! What a tragedy! Even the doctor condemned her as uncurable. Damn! There is only one thing we can do. How are you fix it? Everyone, follow me. I have an idea. Hey, where are you going? To the basement, father. The key to saving Annie is there. Ari, help us out, okay? Okay, dad. Sure. To save your dearest sister? Can you dedicate both your body and soul? I'm really feeling like the reject child right about now. Um, this all seems kind of weird. Honey, the doctor said that it won't endanger Annie's life. Oh yeah? Well, you'll do it anyway, son! For your sister! Will you bear anything, even if it is hard, painful, or unbearable? Won't you? Um, um, well, uh, um... Huh? What's that? Anyway, good! Excellent! That's the spirit, my boy! I found something really amazing the other day. Just follow me! Please don't make me your sacrificial lamb. Oh, you're here, Ari! Now that everybody's here, I can explain. This bottle I found the other day. This bottle is actually... It holds the power to change destinies. 
Behold, the legendary vessel! It's Pollock's bottle, I'm sure of it! Isn't it amazing? Um, what's in it? Oh, wow! What do I get to wish for? So, Pollock is a person who really existed several hundred years ago. The legend says that he obtained the power to change a person's fate and hid it in this bottle. Wow. Son, I hate to say this, but this sounds very suspicious. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right, honey. Well, father, seeing is believing. I knew something like this would happen. So I drew my own magic ideogram a while ago. Ideogram? Ideogram. I will call the great power that changes fates. Also, good night, Boogie. Gula! Embrace! We call upon a power forlorn to issue forth and be reborn. We beckon you, our honored guest, to be present and grant us our request. We before your majesty kneel. Grace us now, your true self reveal. I think that's how it goes. Uh, uh, that's it. Okay. Wow. Oh. At last, at last! The time has come for my great master to revive. I am an evil butler. I guess he should have the butler accent, shouldn't he? <clears throat> I am an evil butler. The name is James. Nice to meet you, everyone. Now, let me do the introductions. The evil king who presides wickedly over all darkness and malevolence everywhere. Lord Stanley High Hat Trinidad the 14th. Evil King? Huh, this is strange. <clears throat> you may call me Evil King, Stan. I am a purely evil, evil king. Let my malevolence and sheer badness awe and terrify you. <clears throat> now, imbecile humans, answer me. Why have you summoned me? Um... <laughs> Um, here comes a special boy. I mean, does it really matter? I forgot. Well, let's say we have a favor to ask. Let's be nice. Uh, let me explain as the family head as well as an assistant manager. We have a favor to ask. We want you to save the life of my child. My daughter, Annie is under the curse of a ghost and is on her deathbed. Don't you mean her F -a -a ed bay? F day ed bay, I ruined it, whatever. Well, it's because I don't have the curse. Um, there's nothing wrong with her life, though. Anyway, we would like you to break the ghost curse on my daughter. A ghost? Oh, one of those lower class evil beings. That's all? Fine, that's easy. But you must know. In order to benefit from me, the evil king, one of you must make an evil agreement with me and serve as my slave, servant, and follower. Really? Is that so? Yes, very so. All right, if that's what we have to do. To save my baby, I can, I can sell my soul to the devil. I'll sell my soul 10 times over. Well, I... I'll sell mine, too. Yep, me too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's right, honey. Well, son. In a pig's eye. Ah, oh, why not? Huh? What did you say? Anyway. Great to hear that you can sell your soul, too. That's my son. You are such a good boy. I told you I won't. I know, I know. You're just that way. It's okay, Ari. <laughs> I don't have a say, say, say in this, do I? Okay, okay. Excellent! You're a brave boy. You are going to embark on such an interesting... I mean, a difficult and honorable burden. 
god, I'm so proud to have a brave son. Okay, it seems that you came to an agreement. Now, everyone, could you stand in line here? Now, we are judging everyone's shadow. Three hundred years ago, the great evil King Goma destroyed half the world. However, he was defeated by a hero. Lord Stan, who graces us with his devilish presence today. He is the reincarnation of and the successor to the great evil King Goma. Yes, I have waited for three hundred years in a bottle due to some deplorable error. At last, my powers of revival have been accumulated, all due to my indomitable endurance and effort. Oh, how great I am! That's my master. However, master's magical power is only a fraction of what it once was. Until his complete revival, he must borrow a human shadow. However, since it is the master haunting it, the shadow must be top class too. Thus, However, I made special arrangements for this. I invited shadow experts from the Dia Diablerie. We are about to begin the first Stan Cup Shadow Contest. Ladies and gentlemen, ready? Start casting! And suddenly, a peculiar contest has begun. I see Ari seems to take more after his mom. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hmm, she's close, but... Boo, boo, boo. But she's... Hmm, madam, it's a near miss. There seems to be a slight problem with your figure. The judges apologize. It would have been perfect five years ago. But personally, I believe you are perfect. Oops, <clears throat> please excuse me. Now, the last entry. Let me introduce the son, Ari. Yeah, this butler's so evil, he's body shaming. Wait, Ari has some real, like, patterns on his pants. Just his whole outfit. Boo! Boo! Superb! It's almost flawless! For sure! Perfectly overshadowed! Wow! It's... it's a surprise! He won over all the judges! Everyone gave him excellent marks! He has a perfect score! For the first Stan Cup Shadow Contest, the victory goes to Ari! Congratulations! Congratulations! You did it! I am proud of you, boy! Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's right, honey. Well done, Ari. I have always believed in you. Despite the blessings of his family, somehow the boy could not share their warm sentiments. Hmm. This is an impressive shadow. Nothing like three years ago. I had a rough time then. Yes, this will do very nicely. Now, what's your name? Um, Ari. From now on, you must work as my servant, slave, and subordinate. Are you ready? Enough about that. What about my daughter, Annie? Oh, I almost forgot about that. Now, let me show you. The awesome power of Evil King Stan. Well, that's all. Wake up, girl. Huh? What happened to me? Oh my god, I'm cured! I can speak like a normal person! Annie! Oh, Annie! Oh, thank you so much! Oh, Annie! I knew I was right! <laughs> I'm so glad! Are you alright, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Huh? Annie, your shadow! 
Shadow? What about my shadow, Gramps? What? No! My shadow turned pink? I can't believe it! Ah, it seems that I made a slight miscalculation. Oh no! I cannot go outside with a shadow like this! I'll never get married! Shut up! I promised to break the curse. I didn't say that I wouldn't turn your shadow pink. That's my master! Your logic is wonderfully evil. Oh, why me? My shadow! And so the commotion at the boy's house continued well into midnight. Ruin for marriage, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's how I get up every morning. I can move again. So I gotta say, like, something about that guy is giving me dupless vibes in that mischievous ghost. I guess if I want to save, I have to leave my room and come back in. I'm gonna save. I mean, not that anything is gonna imminently kill me outside, I assume, but you never know. Ignore that, that memory card pop up. You, you didn't see that. I didn't see that. Oh, uh, this, this door is locked, so I can't get in there. Why is there a boarded up room in our house and there's no comment on it? Like, I want to know. I hope I get a crowbar at some point. Oh, is Annie in her room? I'm sure the rest of the family, nope, the rest of the family is thrilled. Do they care about me? No. A life of indentured servitude. And for what? Yeah, I guess I won't worry about it. I mean, I have bread. Can't worry when you have bread. Good morning, Ari. Want some breakfast? What's wrong, honey? You look pale. You had a nightmare? Oh, poor thing. Look, it's beautiful outside. It's so peaceful here. Forget about that dream and go have some fun in town. Hmm. Was it all just a dream? Are the Moomin grandparents here? Yep. Oh, Ari, good morning. It's a beautiful day today. Aren't you going to go out and have fun? Both your father and Annie are gone. Well, me and the miss... We are going to relax and talk about old memories. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. That's right, honey. I I hope that this lady at one point says like the most cutting line of dialogue in the game. And surprises everyone. Like I've had coworkers say to me that as you you may or may not be able to tell, I have a very gentle and unassuming kind of manner. Um but sometimes I'll just say, in, in their words, like, the sassiest stuff out of nowhere. I don't feel like I'm being particularly sassy, but I guess they just don't expect it. The one PG-13 F-bomb. Yeah, that's gonna be Grandma. Will the, all these characters turn into Moomin in old age? I guess it depends which parent we're taking after. Hmm. Well, it was a dream. I am the same old ordinary boy. What a relief! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? <laughs> Too bad. Oh, jeez. This is nothing but reality. You are the obedient servant of the evil King Stan. Forever. <laughs> we'll be together for a long while, boy. Get used to it. <laughs> oh, Master Stan! It's a fragrant morning, isn't it? How about breakfast, Master? Madam's omelette is the best. James, we don't have time for breakfast. From now on, I'll use this boy and initiate my plan for world conquest. To begin, I'll drive the nearby village of Tennel into... 
an abyss of nightmarish horror. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Master Stan. So proud to be in your fiendish service. Your James is always at your side with passionate devotion. At least, after I finish my omelette. Well, off to the village, slave. Let us go. Good luck, Master. Hurrah for Master. Well, the omelette. The omelette. Omelette for Ari? No. Okay. I gotta see. Is he actually in the kitchen? Egg, 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 egg. Everyone's cholesterol is gonna be through the roof. Maybe when James retires, he can become mayor of some evil hamlet. Mm, indeed. Madam's cooking is the best. Oh, James. It's true, madam. You're beautiful, kind, and a great chef. Your husband is far too fortunate. You're too flattering, James. Simply the truth, madam. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, what's going on? Are you hitting on my mom? Whoa! You are here, slave! <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today. <laughs> Oh, it's a fine day today! <laughs> oh, I'm glad you've got such a good friend, Ari. Stan, honey, please be good company for Ari. <laughs> Have you forgotten that your son serves me? Like, so, so... Stan is already on, like, like a honey basis with our mom? I feel like, even, even with Stan, we're still, like, at the lowest rung of this ladder. James, stop hitting on my mom. Please, it's weird. They're evil, it's on their business cards. Yeah, but there's a difference between being evil and just making things uncomfortable. Hey, Ari. I heard you learned a funny trick. Everybody in the village is talking about it. Your dad is all excited, telling everybody about it. A funny trick. What is that? Wow, cool! Where'd you learn that, Ari? Looks like a gorst. What is he talking about? Humans perplex me sometimes. So my dad is just going around bragging to everyone, hey, my son is possessed by an evil king? Isn't that rad? It is pretty rad. <laughs> this is Lady making this, like, that... that inhale through the teeth, like, really awkward face. You know that one emoji? I don't use emojis, but you know the one. Oh no, what should I do? My hat got blown away in the wind. Look, it's hanging there in the tree. It's my favorite hat. My late husband bought it for me. What should I do? <laughs> Whimpering old lady. What powerless animals human beings are. Ari, let me show you my power. I am completely elastic like this. It's a trivial task to retrieve your lost hat. Oh, thank you very much. You must have been sent from heaven. Hey, old bag, you don't understand. I am pure evil through and through. Evil King Stan, the name says it all. <laughs> Fear me, kneel and grovel before me. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, no, not like that. Thank you, God. I'm just I'm gonna keep your hat now, out of spite. Oh, Ari, I heard your shadow's awesome. Can you show it to me? He's just gonna pop up at every opportunity to show off, isn't he? What is with you? Oh my god, it speaks too? Excellent! Is it alive? Hey, girly. Who do you think I am? I am the Evil King Stan, a symbol of incomprehensible evil everywhere. Wow, it tells jokes too! Oh, I want one too! Nothing, nothing to say to that, Stan? Well, well, what a great trick! Ari, you can get a job at a circus! I didn't know you had such skill. I've changed my opinion of you, Ari. Oh, he didn't come up to show off that time. Hi, you are the famous Shadow. Nice to meet you. Don't get fresh with me, you suckling. Do you know who you are talking to? <laughs> you shy boy. 
Ari's father told me you're a kind, gentle shadow. Ugh! Unforgivable! <laughs> it's funny that you're shy. Why don't you be my friend? <laughs> I'm sorry, suckling? Like a pig? Hey, Ari, why didn't you introduce your new friend to everyone? Oh, okay, I guess I haven't talked to everyone yet. Ari, show me your shadow. Oh, please. Shut up, small fry. Gaze upon my horrifying visage and fear it. Cry. Pee your pants. Yippee! The shadow! The funny shadow! I saw it! Cool, Ari. That's, that's our boy Stan impressing little kids by telling them to wet themselves. Going along this road takes you to a town called Madrill. Lately, gores have appeared, though. I won't say that you can't go, but don't leave until you're ready. You got it? It's very reasonable for an arbitrary RPG roadblock. Can I, like, see one clown? Does, does Stan have anything to say about this? No. A circus ring and audience seats are there. It seems like nothing and nobody is here. Oh. Well, I'm sure it wasn't a good circus anyway. Whatever. You know, I've seen I've seen twice, and I thought it was pretty cool with Cirque du Soleil. I think, yeah, I've, I've seen them twice. Strange, strange. According to my plan, as soon as I appear in this world, humans should be awed, terrified, and flee in every direction. And while quaking with fright, they are supposed to swear obedience. But, but, look at their reactions. Yeah, they should be laughing more. <laughs> that is strange. Yes, and the only thing we have to do is display my evilness through action. And let humans know what terror I can bring. Now, let us get going, slave. We will drive the village of Tennel into horror and despair. Stan, if you looked in a mirror, could the problem be that you are adorable? <laughs> he just like Dupless. He needs a little party hat, a little bow tie, and then he can be a birthday boy, the specialist birthday boy. You wouldn't hit him, it's his birthday. He's the birthday boy. So, this is Tennel Village? This is it? This is no task for I, a vessel of pure malevolence. But hey, might as well do it. <laughs> now, how shall I go about this? Slave, first gather information. It's essential for proper subjugation. Remember that. I have ground beef in my pocket. Is that useful? Yeah, they're going, ah, uh, but it's ah uh, and not ah, uh, you know, with a W and not an H. I just can't keep the store open anymore. There's no way you can handle meat without water. But we've kept the tradition of not even once clothing the store since my father's days. Here's the deal. That ground beef that I sold you yesterday, I want to buy it back. How about it? I'll pay you 30 sukul. No. Oh well, I don't want to force you. But it's sad that the tradition has to end now. Damn it. Well, now I feel bad. Does, I mean, does it do anything? Brought, bought from Butcher, what am I gonna do with it? I don't know, what am I gonna do with it? I guess it doesn't have another use. Like, it's not a, well, I mean, I, I guess I wouldn't really expect it to be a consumable in retrospect. Even though, you know, game characters will just shove whatever into their mouths. Decoy, oh my. Okay, I'll give you the ground beef back. I'm sure this is gonna lock me into the worst ending, obviously. Thank you. Here's the money. Yes, now I have something to sell. I can keep the store open today. Can I buy it back for 20 sukul? What do you know? We're open today. Only one serving of ground beef left to sell. <laughs> oh, I really wanted to buy it back. And then just, like, repeatedly sell him back 
the meat and then buy it again day in and day out. Wait, what, that said something different. We are closed. We can't even serve you tea. Do something! Landlord of Inn. What are you doing in the, this corner, man? The love of beauty inside me is screaming. Annie's pink shadow. It's too, too wonderful. It's cute beyond compare. I must have one too. A pink shadow. Well, we just gotta curse you, and then you need another, like, spineless boy to uh, take on the burden. Oh, Ari, did you hear? Something terrible is happening. Oh, good heavens, this is terrible. <laughs> I knew it. The dark, raging fire that is my unyielding evil freezes his soul. A perfectly normal reaction. <laughs> what? What's this? Hey, nice trick. Anyway, I don't care about that. I've got to tell you, there's a ghost in the church. Hey! You were scared of some low-rank evil being and not scared of me, evil King Stan? Fool human. Ooh, scary. A ghost must be eyeing the treasure that's stored deep within the church. Hey, don't ignore the evil king here. Humans truly have no sense. What, a treasure? What treasure? Well, they say it's an important treasure. If we ever lose it, our village is finished. Oh no, that would be terrible. <laughs> Did you hear that, slave? We're in business. Look at the village's treasure and laugh as they wallow in misery. <laughs> if it's indeed an important treasure, it must be something that can enhance my evil power. <laughs> I can hardly wait to have it in my grasp. Take a shot every time Stan cackled. Ran out of water for kneading bread, so we're closed. Oh dear, bakery woman. Looks like something bad's happening at the waterway beneath the church. It's causing the water to stop. How do I enter the church? The church is off limits. With special permission from the village office, you might be able to get in. But I wouldn't if I were you. I hear tell that there's a ghost in there. You might get killed. I mean, my life's already terrible, right? Oh, what about the water shortage? Today, it's gotten even worse. Even the butcher and the bakery are closed. And then soon, the candlestick maker is nothing sacred. Oh, shoot. The bar's still closed. Then I don't have anything to do. It's so boring. Eh. Why don't I get a job? Uh, that... Well... Uh... A lot of people here have ties. This is like a very business casual uh, RPG village. Closed due to shortage, and for those who owe me money, pay up quick. Gulp in hostess. Like the Pokemon? Gulp in? Shop. Other one. Ikea. Two. Hi, Ari. Come to shop? Take your time. Oh, uh, what what do you got? Great for a snack. Recovers from KO. Brings pure winter mountain air. Cures poison. Dungeon depths won't get you down. Back to dungeon. Well, I don't really have like a lot on me, but uh, surely like some healing items would be wise to purchase, right? There we go. And I probably don't need an energy flower because well. I'm the only party member, so if I get KO'd and whatever. I always over prepare for like status curing stuff, but whatever. Let's let's get that. I guess I could buy a guidance tool. Does this mean back to dungeon entrance? Oh, it's game over when Ari gets knocked out no matter what. Oh, so it's like like a persona game. Where if your protagonist bites it, then that's it. Even if other people could revive them. Unfortunately, I think unlike Yosuke, Stan will not die for Ari. Oh, Ari, how are you? How was your grandpa? Your grandpa and I? We were rivals way back when. We were rivals over your grandma. It was really something. We used to get into tremendous battles over who was going to get her love. Here's a little something that'll come in handy. Come visit me again, eh? Ari has acquired ten sukul. Well, thank you for the nick or nickel <laughs> dime. Something very Dr. Wily about him, isn't it? 
Oop. When I was young, I was handsome with bright white teeth. Now I'm old, and I'm still handsome with bright white teeth. Ho ho ho. Your grandma dumped me, though. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, maybe she just thought you were gonna try and take over the world with some robots. She didn't want that lifestyle. She wanted to settle down in a, a nice town and grow into her moom in final form. Oh, hi, Ari. Is the butcher shop open, do you know? I was really scared she was gonna ask me for some ground meat. And I thought, oh no, I've, I've locked myself out of, like, the best weapon in the game or something. So I like this cactus in the shop. Is it a real cactus? A fake cactus? Hey, this is what I heard. The reason why the church has become off-limits is because a ghost is there. Ari, are you gonna go ghost bust? If you succeed, you'll be a superstar! But maybe there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, that was a weird camera angle. I'm glad we didn't miss Stan, though. Yeah, Cactus would do well in a town with a water shortage. That shopkeep was planning ahead. Oh, hi, Annie. Oh, Ari! I won't worry about the shadow anymore. They all tell me how good it is on me. I'm now so popular! <laughs> Thank you, Stan. S Stan? Did you forget who I am? Talk sense into her, boy! Addressing an evil king without a title? Come on, why not? Ari, don't you worry either. Relax, okay? Like, Stan gets really pee, but then he doesn't actually do anything about it. He just seethes. Wow, you look great, Annie. The pink shadow is great on you. You totally stand out. That day of the circus, I should have asked you out. I was so stupid. Yeah, he is just sulking in a shadow for hours, arms folded petulantly. Good thing we can't see him and make fun of him. I'm very charmed by just how all over the place, like, the technology and decorations are here, and just, like, the costume design. Like, it looks very modern, and yet we have, like, these, these thatched roof cottages. Oh, that must be it. My son got dumped because I haven't been to church lately. I'm sorry, son. Oh boy, Julia dumped me. There's somebody she likes already. Man, who is that guy? Who is this damn lucky guy? You know, they've they've said damn a lot more than I thought they would in a PS2 RPG. I don't actually know what this game is rated. But it just it's not the thing that you see peppered into RPG localization so casually. Oh dear, without water, I can't even clean the house. We might have to consider moving. You know, just leave this house for someone else to clean, I guess. Or you know what? That's a good solution. Like, you don't want to clean your room? Just move to a new house. Problem solved. Oh, you better believe when I said that I was in my mind. I was I was channeling that roof cottages. But you know, I, I can't I can't do it like Strong Bad does it. Floor not mopped, sell house. Wait, did I just, like, leave the room and then immediately go back into the room somehow? I guess I did. Wait, did I not go into that other room up there? The door's locked and cannot be opened. <coughs> A coughing can be heard from behind the door. Oh. Okay, well now we know there's there's uh, somebody sick back there, or maybe they're just vaping. Shout out to the man who was vaping on the train on Monday this week. I just thought, what is that noxious smell? And then I look behind me and there's a man just blowing vape smoke everywhere. Why do I keep getting stuck on the train with people who are vaping or smoking cigarettes? Lucky you. If only I had talent like you, my life would be a lot more fun. Yeah, if you want to call Stan talent, I guess. Until further notice, please do not enter the church, Tennel Village office. Like, it zooms in on the door, just so you know 
The door is shut tight. Okay. Dad. Ugh, twist the valve in the church basement and you should get water again. This is a secret. The basement is haunted. Oh, what should we do? Our job as public workers is to ensure the stability of the everyday lives of villagers. But there is one more job we have. And that is to manage the villagers' classification list. A classification list? Yes, classification table. It's the list sent regularly from the king who lives far away. Based on the report that we send, the list sorts the villagers by character. It maintains public order. The new classifications for this year should arrive from the royal city soon. This reminds me of... And not that I've ever seen it, but I've when I read old books set in, like, Victorian London, and people would read, like, the society pages in the paper about all the rich nobility and all the other, like, the earls and lords and ladies and all their parties and social dalliances and whatever. Also, hello, cool sibling. Uh, right. I want to... How would you classify me? You were... Uh, let's see... I can't remember. You are in somebody else's shadow... Some, or, wait, did you say somebody else's shadow... Somebody? Somehow? Whatever. Oh, I don't mean to be rude. I'll check it for you. And then she doesn't. Hi, Ari. Have you come to see your cool dad at work again? I'm so proud of you. Open the church door! Hurry, lowly being! Open the door immediately! Hi, Stan! What brings you to the church? It's not much of a business. Nothing much at all. <laughs> don't, don't insult our dad, Stanley. Just open it, Dad. Oh, sure, by all means! I have a feeling this will be interesting. I'll leave the door open. Oh, just, just like that, huh? Go, Ari, go! I'll be watching you while I sit here with my cup of tea. <laughs> Even though the church is totally haunted, the door is shut tight. Oh, I guess like like there's there's been no items I can loot anywhere. She forgot Ari was there even while making eye contact. Yeah, everyone in Ari's family is like, yeah, Stan, our pal Stan, also James. Ari, though, eh. Stan, though, he's cool. Now, let's go, slave. Look at the hidden treasure, and they will kneel before our dark might. Oh, please wait, master. Did you finish your omelet? No, no, don't reveal it all. It's a delightful evil plan, master. However, there is one thing. Ari, you're a rookie and not so sharp, so you should at least try not to be in master's way. So long. Oh, you just came here to insult me. I see. I see how it is. I must say, I sympathize a great deal with Ari. Actually, let me check the rest uh, of the church up here before I go downstairs. But yeah, I sympathize with Ari, just the perpetually being ignored. Yeah. Well, this is very different than the church in Eternal Darkness, if anybody remembers that. James is already throupling it up. <laughs> no, right? Water has stopped. Open the valve in the room at the end and the water should flow again. This also reminds me of Eternal Darkness, but uh, the basement in the Roivis Mansion specifically with the little well. James is your stepdad now. Sorry, Ari. Buh, 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 buh. Huh? Where am I? I'm lost again. So, you're the third-class demon who stands in the way of my ambition. Step back! Keep your head low. Whoa, bah. Whoa what a weird shadow. <laughs> Look at it, slave. This low-rank demon, he cowers before my divine dark power. Boo, 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 bee, ho, boo. Oh boy, this is too funny. What a weird shadow. Oh, I see. You want to pledge allegiance to me? Bubble bubble, getting hungry. 
He's weak looking. Work weak looking. He'll do. Yes, very good. Once you become my follower, your existence will be devoted to me. Blah, blah, blah. Time to chow. So what I'm getting is that nobody listens to Ari, and Stan doesn't listen to anyone. Match made in hell. Oh, I'm not even getting a tutorial, okay. I guess perky frog, tricky ghost. Let's let's hit a frog. Ugh. Cool. Yeah, no, there's there's gameplay. Well, that was that was a lot of damage, but I mean I did kill one frog. James is the dad who stepped up from the spectral plane. Okay. It's just flailing at me. I guess that's what all ghosts do. I mean, Stan's real good at flailing. Oh, I have, like, an ATB meter, I see. Oh, good. I'm, like, about to make freaking die. Oh, good enough. I was thinking it'd be terrible if I died on, like, the, the quote-unquote tutorial battle through no fault of my own. And it makes me think of, like, the first battle you do against your rival in early Pokemon games, where it's totally possible to lose through no fault of your own, just if you get really unlucky with RNG. Not that it really affects anything. Ari attained level two. Good job, buddy. Ugh. That was odd. Oh, well. Never mind. I did get rid of that floor-scrubbing demon who turned against me. I don't think he was ever with you to begin with. Hmm? Look, slave. That must be the treasure that the villagers were talking about. Ari has acquired Odd Glass Tube. What is this? It's just a piece of a broken machine. Oh, they've tricked me. They will all pay for this. My wrath will know no end, boy. Boy, he really flails a lot, doesn't he? Here's a closed valve. Close it tight, make it worse. It can't be closed any tighter, okay. I guess I can't cause problems on purpose because someone has already caused them for me. Open it. It's the sound of the water flowing. It was that easy, huh? I don't know if anything else is gonna attack me and probably not, but I mean that the nuts are cheap, so whatever. Mysterious article in Tennel Church with a metal stick. Seems like nothing happened. Does anyone else repeat to themselves righty tidy lefty Lucy? The water is flowing. We're okay now. Everything is fine. Nothing is broken. Let me take a sip of water one sec. Boy, I really thought they were all out here to yell at me, going, What did you do? Somehow you made it worse, and now the town's flooded. We hate you. Get out. You know, like, RPG characters are so prone to being kicked out of their hometown or otherwise causing it to burn down. Good work, Ari. Way to go. Thanks, that was great. Ari, turn this way for me. How did you get rid of the gorsts? Let's hear it, Ari. Yeah, tell us how, Ari. Ari! Hey there, Ari! Wow, I exist. Oh, they've got it all wrong! It was all my doing! Evil King Stan is the proper target of your affection! Oh well, this is good timing. They're all assembled to receive the wisdom I shall bestow upon them. Listen here, villagers! I am the reincarnation of the evil King Goma. The evil king of darkness, Stan. What? What's going on? Say, isn't that... Now that I've returned to this world, all that walks, flies, or crawls shall be my subjects. As a reward for your willing subjugation, I shall grant you insects a long, delightful purgatory. I hereby declare, 
I will saturate this land with a black cloud of astounding malevolence. My plague of evil will infect every corner of this world. Bow before your lord and master, evil King Stan. Aha! They're speechless! <laughs> oh, this is too much! Ari, I didn't know you were such a riot! Oh, wow, this is good! I'm gonna die laughing! That shadow trick of yours is pretty slick! Hey, make sure to do a repeat performance at the festival, ya! Yeah? <laughs> Evil King Stan, did you say? That's priceless! Ari, enough of the jokes now. Don't you need to be at home studying? Hey, you peasants! What are you laughing at? My great decree is to be taken seriously. You! That one there, stop laughing! <laughs> he just keeps on going. <laughs> Please! <laughs> My stomach hurts! Thus, Tanel Village was filled with joy and laughter. Oh, sorry, Tanel. Excuse me. So Stan is having like completely the opposite effect. Good job. Why? Ugh, I don't understand. Why? I am the evil king. Harbinger of impending doom. Yet the humans mock me. They even laugh at me. I'm so humiliated. What am I... What am I supposed to do? Am I a failure as an evil king? Am I a hopeless evil king? Ah! Uh, this is really awkward. I, I, may, I should maybe be nice to the, the demon possessing my shadow. You're not hopeless, Stan. I don't need pity from you, slave. I'm tired. I'll rest for a while. Wow, mm, that's, that's awkward. This little sad face. Good thing Ari can't see it. I feel like it's already awkward enough as is. Hi, Dad. Well, good job, son. I'm very proud of you. I must say thanks to Stan, too. But Dad, he hears voices. What does that mean? Aw, oh, Dad, not him. Hmm, so the evil king got his pride wounded? Well, let me tell you something. Lately, in Madrill and in other towns, too, there's this rumor going around. If you want to hear about it, ask the scared guy. It'll get Stan going, that's for sure. Everybody's talking about him like he's been here for weeks. This is weird. A new classification list has just arrived from the Royal City, but... Hurry, your name is not anywhere on the list. Were you ever on the list at all? Maybe it's that weird shadow's fault. I don't know. Something's wrong. It's just so weird. Just not right. Oh, am I glad the water's back, but I still have tons of work to do. Busy, busy, busy. What is on this wanted poster? I wish I could zoom in a little closer. It kind of looks like like some little black mage type creature with eyes poking out of a void, but it also kind of looks like a one-eyed Grimer wearing a striped shirt. I'm not sure. You know, that's- that's the charm of, like, low-resolution textures. Hey, you're amazing! You defeated the ghost! Well, as strong as you are, you're off to travel then, huh? To travel around the world for adventure! Um, that doesn't sound too bad. Sure, this place sucks. There are disturbing rumors all over the world. Seems like an era of adventure, don't you think? Oh, me? I just like to be goofing off here, dreaming of adventures. Can I also say that I really like Stan's light motif because of how, like, it's very clearly the theme of a guy who thinks he's imposing, but isn't, isn't really. I guess, I guess I don't need to be in these houses, probably. I need to, I need to find the scaredy guy. You two are local goof-off. Not a bad way to be, really. Hey, Ari, what kind of cool things could you do with your shadow? Mm, like, can you spy inside a room by sliding underneath the door? Uh, I might be able to, I don't know. 
How cool! <laughs> I bet you could hear everything. Say, do you want to hang out with me? And and then we never did. We just stare awkwardly at each other. Again, like the architecture combined with just the clothing designs and how like there's no cohesion to them. They don't really fit the world, but this isn't a knock against the game. I actually think it's very charming. Hi, Ari. Thank you. I'm really glad water's running now. The trouble's over now. Eh, I look troubled. I was born this way. Sad, huh? Oh, sorry about your face. Hey, Ari. Your stand-up comedy routine was great. According to my original survey on Tenel, fun boy ranking, you are... You're one notch up from being the lowest in rank. That's so cool, Ari. Oh, by the way, the Elder wants to see you. Why don't you go drop by? I want to be in the fun boy ranking. Uh, granted, I'm not a boy, and the fun is debatable, but... Scary. Oh, nothing could be scarier than this. All of a sudden, in spots all over the world, a bunch of evil kings appeared. Really, seriously, this is scary. Bah! Enough of your whimpering. I'm tired and mentally wounded, bro same. And now this rubbish from you. Listen up. The evil king is the king of evil. And a king is a king. That means only one. Not two or three. One. Moi. No, I'm not making this up. The pudgy guy at the bar said so. The word is that in certain places, copies of the map of evil kings are out. It tells the locations of the evil kings. Brrr, this is so scary. Hogwash. Map of evil kings. Are you kidding? Slave, find the lunatic who's spreading these lies. He will pay for this. All right. Oh, I'm okay. I guess I gotta go find the, the guy in the bar. Maybe he'll give me some more info. Oh. Do I have to actually go, go to the bar? Or the elder wants to see me. No bar open. My clown ELO is climbing. Stan's theme is just an opening fanfare. Like, hey, I'm vamping up to be something big here. Nothing big happens, it's just a guy shouting. It's It fits him to a T. The inn's finally reopened after all this time, and look what you get. A drunken guest. Well, actually, Ringmaster is one of our regulars. Once he starts to drink, he gets really drunk. I don't know what to do with him. Some some tunes in here. Ugh. Ugh. Stupid troopers. Leaving without me. Ugh. So, this is the lowlife who's spreading that swill. Hey, you! I hear you've been spreading tall tales that there's more than one evil king. What? Oh, you're the one I saw the other night. The kid with that shadow. Yeah, at the circus. Yep, that's right. I'm the ringmaster. Now that I get to take a good look, you got an interesting shadow with you there. Interesting? Carrying with him? Fine, whatever. Just you remember, husky one. If a guy like you speaks of rubbish like a map of evil kings, I may shut your mouth permanently. Oh, you want this map of evil kings? Sure thing, here it is. Arya's acquired map of evil king, okay. Sure. Lately they say that in Madrill, a fearful evil king showed up too. I swear this is true. <laughs> this is so funny. What are you gonna do, shadow evil king? Curses. You just revealed who I... Who are you, shaggy one? Ugh, I think I'm gonna barf. Oh, too much fun last night. <laughs> hey, boy. Wait. Why don't we take a look at that map of evil kings right now? Eh, what is this? One, two... There were more evil kings than myself? And on top of that, my name's not even on here. James! James! Where are you? 
Like the setting sun, the glistening moon. Oh, master, how might I serve? Please don't tell me you're reciting romantic poetry to our mom. James, straighten this out, will you? Am I not the only one and only evil king? Sorry, let me try that again. Am I not the one and the only evil king? The successor of the great evil king, Goma? Come on, answer me! Who else could I be? And all these other evil kings, who are they? Hmm, well, master, I will tell you. These others are imposters, encroachers, evil kings only in name. While you were inside that bottle, master, I must have stolen your magical power. And went about claiming to be evil kings. Yes, that must be it. Hmm. I see. I knew something was wrong. The villagers called me, my dark majesty, a nice guy. Naturally, if my power were at its peak, they would have wept and groveled before me. Yes, that must be it. So it was all their doing. These self-proclaimed evil kings were stealing my magical power. Yes, that must be it. Hmm. And there's just one thing to do. Yes, good. You see it as clearly as I. Master, that means... Of course, of course! Indeed. We're going to take those phony evil kings and get back all my dark power. Then the whole world will tremble and kneel before me as they rightfully should. Slave, let's do this. An expedition of conquest. Uh, uh, Julia, girl, she... Sure, let's rock. I'm, I'm Dante now. Heaven or hell, let's rock. What kind of answer is that? Take it easy now, master. This girl, Julia, she has a bit of a crush on your slave. For a kid as uncool as you, this could be your last chance for romance. J James, we just met, and you've already clocked me as... Yeah, pretty uncool. I believe that's what you're thinking. Yes, I'm quite pathetic. Touching. But you're my slave. You're stuck with me. <laughs> we'll go to your house to pack for the trip. Come on, slave. That map of evil kings, it so irritates me. But don't lose it. It should keep us on the trail of those upstart imposters. All right, then. To your house. How gracious that he is letting me go and pack my meager belongings. Yeah, people drinking in my bar? It's more likely than you think. But, like, the bar has been open for, like, what, ten minutes? And he's already shwasted. I wonder if I actually can, like, stick Stan under doors and have him listen in. Like, like, the coughing door. Put Stan under there. Give me the deets. Oh, Ari, I hear that you're the one who saved the village. Come on, act like a hero. A hero should act with dignity. Especially after doing a good thing. Why are all these women, like, making that face at me? <laughs> She's so happy for you. Remember, she cares about you. She's very proud of what you did. Was he drinking outside the circus tent when we talked to him? I guess, yeah, he's just perpetually crunk. Make Stan inhale vape smoke. I wouldn't wish that even on Stan. The job sharpening knives and sickles. Boss has the skill, but it's wasted here. I think what the boss really wants to do is make swords for the best warriors. Your grandpa used to make swords before he hurt his back. You didn't know? Your grandpa used to be a famous swordsman when he was young. So, um, are my Moomin grandparents on my dad's side or my mom's? Hey, Ari, you've done it. You're really something. Here at the blacksmith, we make and sell weapons and protective gear. Well, this might not be the place to find items for every occasion. Oh, uh, let's see. Ah, oh, this fruit knife should do. Take this. Great for eating fruit. Yay. It's probably better than a stick. Sorry if it's not something cooler. Oops, I gotta get going now. Back to work. They won't sell me a real knife, huh? 
Before he was a moomin, he made swords. I mean, did he always have that big nose? Oh, okay, you say the same thing as before. Where, where is the elder? I don't, probably not in the meat store. Can I have my ground beef back? Oh, am I glad. Water's running again. We're back in business. But this village is so remote. We only have guests once every two to three years. I can't live on just running an inn. I earn my living serving food here. Anyways, Ari, why don't I tell you what to do at an inn? Yes, please. Okay, listen up. Rest is what it says. You get to stay the night to get some rest. Change party members is for when you want to change who's traveling with you, Ari. Once you have enough companions, you choose the team you want to go out in the field with you. Only three, including you, Ari, can take part in the fighting, so think hard before you choose. Save as her recording the details of your travel into this diary. When you resume your travel, you start from where you left off in this diary. These diaries aren't everywhere. If I were you, I'd make an entry every time I see one. That's all. So what do you want to do? It doesn't cost anything to rest, does it? I go upstairs and rest. Not a great business model, but convenient for me. Good luck. Can I save? Oh. <laughs> I went in the door. That's okay. Got a snoop. Greetings, I'm the gypsy fortune teller. There's a reason I can't reveal my real name. But love fortune teller master number one is what most people call me. Just one look at the crystal and I'll identify exactly who loves you the most. So, would you like me to tell your fortune of love? If you really want to. <laughs> oh, come on. You don't want to know? Oh, what a sad thing. Is this like Tales of Symphonia with the relationship values? Also, what, what a face. Sure. Yes, please. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey! Show me my crystal ball! <gasps> it's come to me. You are matched best with... Whoa! What, the evil king, Stan? No! Keep away from me! The compatibility of two persons changes from time to time, depending on the actions you take. Well, come again soon. I, I don't- I don't really have a choice in the matter, my friend. I'm kind of stuck with this guy. Also, did this guy say go upstairs and rest? What upstairs? Presumably, I guess there is an upstairs. I just can't see it. I want my ground beef back. Hey, Ari. Thanks to you, we've gotten our water back. I'm proud of you, lad. As long as we have you, we'll be safe even if some no-good ghost shows up. Boy, this, everybody in this town is so fair weather. Ignore me, step on me for years, but now I'm everybody's BFF and comedy master. I have something to tell you. Yes? I liked you. What? Why the past tense? But... You're serious, honest, and quiet. The kind that becomes a husband to eat cold mashed potatoes without complaining. Or lets me go on a rampant impulse shopping sprees without complaining. That's what I liked about you. But I can't be with a person who does tricks with his shadow. Goodbye. Oh. Our hero simply <laughs> stood there dumbstruck. And the next morning... We just stood here for 24 hours. Ari! Come on, wake up! It's morning! Have we just been moping? Standing here, moping. Well, it's a beautiful day today, too! Come on, Ari! Everybody's waiting for you downstairs! Waiting? How come? <laughs> what are you talking about? Both your dad and Gramps are preparing something for you. We're waiting for you. Come down as soon as possible. Okay, what about this fruit knife I've got? Can I equip? I can't. It's nothing I can equip, huh? I just... I guess I could just use it to eat fruit. Reveals whereabouts of all evil kings. A piece of art forged by a blacksmith in Tanel. 
a sign of the evil king in the City of Steel to the southeast. It seems the evil king is moving eerily and lurking in the dark. Stan wishes he was moving eerily and lurking in the dark. Does this game have an inventory limit? Oh, hi. Ari! Finally, the time has come for you to depart. Oh, what's going on? Yes, when I heard it from James, I was surprised, but you were going on an important journey. A journey to subjugate fake evil kings and to conquer the world. Well, it sounds great. I couldn't help but agree. Hey, middle manager. The slave seems to be confused. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell him. A little mistake. <laughs> then let me update you. I told you yesterday that there were many fakes claiming they're evil kings around the world. I, the genuine evil king, and my slave, that is you, are leaving on a journey to subjugate these impostors. And I thought we might as well conquer the world while we're at it. Are you ready? Don't dally now. Let us be gone now. I'd love to, but uh, I have to wash my hair. Okay. Fine. Let us go, slave. Hey, wait a minute, Ari. You have to say goodbye to everyone in the family first. It's normal before you go on a journey. Yeah, so, yeah, James is already part of the family now. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some polyamory going on. Ari, don't drink dirty water, okay? And greet people properly, okay? That reminds me, Ari. Take this with you. Old music box. Thank you. This is my treasure. I got this from your dad when I was young, when he proposed to me. Very Harvest Moon. I think in Harvest Moon 64, or was it, maybe it's Mineral Town. You can dig up an old music box on your farm, I think. Yeah, thanks, Mom. I was otherwise going to drink straight mud. It is an ancient apparatus that makes a pretty sound. Find somebody special on this quest like we did. Okay, it is 64. When you find her, don't hesitate. Give her this music box. Grab the chance and push, push, push. Why is everybody like trying to make me date? Maybe I don't want to, leave me alone. Now Ari, you have to say goodbye to everyone in the family. It's normal before you go on a journey, okay. Master Stan, at last, at last you're departing on your journey of world conquest. The world conquest that the former great King Goma couldn't achieve. Because of the intervention of the hero Hopkins. But the dark magical power of Master Goma is surpassed by that of Master Stan and his beautifully evil design will reach its full realization. Oh, it's a thrilling time to be evil. Hey. <laughs> I, James, will always watch over Master from under the sod. Call me whenever my malicious services are required. But until then, I'm gonna be here, wooing your mom. Sorry, Ari. This whole thing started to save me. Thank you so much, big bro. I'm totally grateful. The pink shadow is cute, too. Hooray for Ari! Good luck! This is my so uh, my Shadow and Amy Fusion OC. Also, hello, Rue. Ari, about the strange items you got at the church in the village. They seem to be a part of something called a voice recorder. They say it's an ancient, mysterious device that stores people's voice and replays them. Since you're going on a journey, you might as well look for the rest of the parts. It was kept in the village as a secret treasure. Somehow I think that it must be very important. Oh, you've, you've played this before, Rue. Wow, there's, so there's at least three people in here that have played this game before. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right, honey. Oh, Ari, are you going to run any errands? Oh, if you're going to the village, give this to the baker. A mere pebble. Thanks, Mima. Now come back before dusk. Okay. Mere stone given by Granny to take to the bakery. Memento of parents encounter. Creaky sometimes. Grandma gave me a rock. It's a very special rock. Okay, that's everybody, I guess. Hey, son, don't be so hasty. 
After saying goodbye to everyone in the family, we have a ceremony for all of us. Use your common sense, son. It's important for everything. Now, come closer. Maybe maybe the pebble is like what, what um, was it emperor penguins that, that give pebbles to a, to court one another? Maybe maybe grandma saw what James is doing and thought, I want to get on, in on this polyamory business. I want to be in a throuple. Well, did you say goodbye to everybody? Then it is time to go. Don't worry, adventuring is fun. Yes, a journey makes a person shine. Your dad in his younger days was really handsome, right? <laughs> Stop it, honey. What do you mean was? Well, is there anything left? <laughs> My allowance? Well, how about an allowance? Money. Oh, well, how about an allowance? Ah, something wrong? Oh, allowance, allowance! <laughs> to be honest, I used up all of my bonus the other day. That's right! See, this wooden doll, isn't it cute? It was pretty pricey, though. Well, if you are an adventurer, make some money while you're on the journey. <laughs> Why don't you take my name card with you? What, like, am I gonna, like, take your ID? Steal your identity? So I thought Ari was, like, chewing or something, but no, it's just Grandpa's head bobbing up and down in a weird spot. People will think you're famous if you show them this. You may get in some private clubs or something. This is so cool. <laughs> Take it with you anyway. Now go on. Boy, you're chattering forever and making me wait. Whatever. Now, slave, we are leaving. That wooden doll is just to replace me, isn't it? You'll be fine, I know it. Ari, you are a very kind boy. Everything will be okay on your journey. And what about Stan's allowance? <laughs> Master Stan, at last, at last you're departing on your journey of world co- Yeah, okay, the same as before. I mean, Mom said something different. Sorry, Ari. This whole thing started to save me. Oh, yeah, okay. She says the same thing. Okay, whatever. Bye. Ahem. The time has come for our youth to depart. Now. One. Oh, sorry. One. Two. Three. Good luck! Get out of here. Something about the way the screen's transition is really funny to me. Ari just receding thus, into himself. The boy finally left his home to begin a peculiar quest. And always with him, the malevolent evil King Stan moves in his shadow. What manner of travails and perils await our hero on his journey? Enter the pink hero and her parasol. Is it me? It's me. Surprise, I'm a character in this game. Okay, but I, I actually need to go to the village first. What's wrong with you, Slave Ari? You still need something from this pathetic village? Yes? I told you, we gotta get Mima the hookup. Where, where, where do people actually say... Mima. Is it like an Appalachia thing? Uh, right. Bakery. Bakery. It's just fun to say. Oh dear. A gap is fo formed in the stone bread oven while we were closed. Oh, Ari, I hear that you're off to travel. Remember this. A man should act with dignity. Keep your chin up. The bakery woman has her eyes on the mere pebble which Ari has. What? From your grandma? This pebble for me? Ari has relinquished the mere pebble, gave it to the bakery woman with some reluctance, it seems like. Hmm, I don't know how she does it, but this looks like just the right stone. Maybe grandma stole it and then was overwhelmed by guilt. Great! It fits in the gap perfectly! Your grandma, she seems senile, but she's far from it. What a mystery. To show my thanks, take this. 
spread cr crust. Oh, like you made your husband a PB and J, and I get the leftover, the crust you cut off. I see, I see. So you're off to travel. The little miss will miss you a lot. Okay, here's some advice from me. All right, when you want to show somebody what you have, you need to use that item you have in front of that person. Or else they won't know what you're carrying. Okay, I see. I don't know, can I, can I show you um, my map of evil kings? Ah, oh, but my, yeah, my dad's useless card. Oh, okay, never mind. Well. Grandma just nods and smiles because she doesn't want people to talk to her. Very wise. Maybe I should, I should, uh, take notes from her. Okay, yeah, you say the same thing. So everybody probably does say the same thing. So you're so much a tough guy now? You're going further and further away from my ideal. I see what you're trying to tell me. You never really cared about me. I was right to say goodbye to you. Okay. Well, heck you too, Julia. Never liked you anyway. I got all I need right here. This flailing ghost. At least somebody needs me. <laughs> what is this girl's deal? I don't think that would have been a healthy relationship anyway. Yeah, she doesn't have Annie's power to control boys. She's not a siren. So she wants a more controllable boy by default. You gotta make do with what you got. Yeah, what do you want out of life, Julia? She wants to get what she wants, I guess. Oh! Ari found tiny gear? Okay. Is that also part of the voice recorder, I'm curious? Uh, scattered everywhere. There are a lot to collect. Okay, I didn't even press anything, though. Ari just picked it up. Please don't tell me, like, oh, there's a hundred of these, but they're in, um, totally unmarked, un- rather unremarkable spots on the world map, and you'll never find them unless you just walk over them. Because that sounds exactly like the kind of nonsense a JRPG would call. I got Holly. Cool. That's like an equipable, right? And I don't think they- they stack. Oh, I just- I just unequipped it, I think. Yeah, there we go. The gear is unrelated. There are 30-some, but yes? Wait, yes is in... They're not marked anywhere, and you just have to walk over where they are? Please tell me I'm misinterpreting that. Oh. Yes is in there in unmarked locations. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, here are some low-class evil beings like the ones in the church that I smashed for you. But slave... You should improve your skills. Now, slave, destroy the one there. A true servant of mine should be able to do this easily. Now go. Boo. Boo. Boo, I say. Start some friendly banter. What's up? Ari says hi in a friendly way. The ghost isn't listening. Typical. Wait a minute! Ah! Thank you. I think. From a distance, she kind of looked like General Beatrix. Except the belt is not covering one of her eyes. Huh. Recently, there are so many cruddy ghosts around. Are you okay? Wow, you're cool. Don't just be impressed like that. What an optimistic attitude! I've never had anyone get mad at me for being an optimist before. Don't walk around here so vulnerable like that. In addition, you don't even have a weapon. I can't believe it. Hold on a sec. Here, take this. Fight against ghosts with this. It's a cheapie, but it's better than nothing. I got a leftover sword. So I got the crust of a sword, basically. You are a boy. You should not be such a sissy. Okay? You got it? Why is everybody so mean to me? <laughs> you are free. Thank you. 
Oh no, it's already late. I have to go now or he will... Gotta go. Can I have your dimensions? I, I assume they mean like three sizes, but I've never heard it phrased like dimensions. Can I have your dimensions? Pull yourself together, young boy. See ya. Damn, I didn't have time to appear. By the way, what was it anyway? You are a pathetic thing, slave. Two lowly beings show up and you cower like a troll. And you were saved by some passing woman. Oh well. Be grateful that my evil hand is merciful to my servants. I may render aid from time to time, but you must still become stronger. Discipline yourself by giving these lower evil beings a thrashing. We will have issues if you can't protect yourself. Don't forget that your shadow is important to me now. Yes, Stan. Okay, I should equip. Or is, is it already equipped, I guess? I guess so. Because I, I can't, like, select it, so I guess it's already, yeah, it's already equipped. I just have to make sure. My stick. Thank God there are visible encounters. Oh, onion. Look at these creatures. They actually, if anyone here is a Megaten fan, they look a lot like Omoraki. And if you're not a Megaten fan, go look up Omoraki. I should maybe spell it in chat, unless anyone else knows at the top of my head, but they look a lot like this. Like Weird Onion Baby. There's a lot of just great design in this game generally. Ow. Actually, in fact... Okay, well, that thing's dead. Look at him gloat. Good job, Stan. Okay, hang on. If it's not gonna advance from the screen, just give me one second. Good, good keyboard. Let's see if I can find a picture of, of one. So, even if you're, you're, you're not watching this live... Uh, let's see if it will let me open this image properly. Please don't give me a web... Why does it always do that? I just I just want the image. I don't want like a, a Microsoft Edge link. Awful. Terrible. Why, why can't I just... Uh, I was trying to share this with chat and they're making it really difficult and it's making me mad. Okay, maybe, maybe this. Will this work? No, it won't work. Anyway, well, look. I'll type it in, in chat. So you could see, uh, somebody wants to Google it. Uh. So if you look up on Moraki, O N M O R I, R sorry, R A K I, um, from the Shin Megami Tensei series, and you will see that weird onion baby looks a lot like the thing I just beat up. Okay, thank you. Tangent over. That's this is the way I came from. I think yeah. Getting turned around on this bridge. That is so many onion babies. Gorsts. Why are they onions, though? I mean, not that I mind. Ag. I think they're very weak onions. So, like, does, does Stan contribute to battles at all? Can he do anything? Unless it's like a spoiler, I guess. And that I'll unlock Stan powers later when he deigns to lift a finger to help me. But it is pretty funny that we have this this evil king looming behind us, and yet he will not do a thing to help, even though we are his his vessel, basically. It would be really funny if, well, if he does nothing all game, but he d he did get back that lady's hat. But you didn't do anything, that chick pig. My work here is done. If only he had a cape to swoosh. Oh, big open plains. 
So if there are items about, they would be in obvious treasure chests, it seems. So I wonder if, like, the red ghosties are, are tougher than the white ones. A shadow is just a ground cape. Can I wrap it around me like a blanket? Yay. Ari holding up a hand like, please clap. Wow. Why is that such a funny level up fanfare? I don't know why. Two more points of attack, four more HPs, one more MP, wow. Really appreciate that the mini-map shows the whole area. Oh, look Look at this thing. I, we're only in the early game and the enemy design is already spectacular. Square Rhino. This looks like a little tchotchke you would, you would put on like, um... What is the word I want? Like, your mantle. The fireplace mantle. Like, you could go in Bed Bath & Beyond and buy that thing, probably. Okay, I guess, is there anything really significant around here, except for that bridge? I guess not really. Whoop. Oh man, another another good creature. An airy bunny. You know, it's funny, I have a stuffed rabbit sitting on my bed right now. And that rabbit's name is Ari. Not after this character, it's a fun coincidence, but... Airy Bunny? I have an Ari Bunny. And that bunny was carrying two whole dala. Alright, I guess I can just go down to that bridge. Ah, uh, there we go. That low-poly topography. Oh, hello. Oh, hang on. Let's, let's fight this thing. So I've been told this is not really a grindy RPG, thankfully, so I shouldn't have to go out of my way to fight. And I don't know how complex the battle system gets, how much thought I have to put into things. I guess we'll find out. I think it always takes a bit to sort of get a feel for what a game expects of you. Hello? Uh-huh. Okay. He is also wearing a tie. Huh? What? I am making an extremely important observation now. Do not disturb me. Hmm. My past calculations projected that my present calculations would show... Nothing! Huh? What is it? Have you taken root here? Huh? What is it? Uh-huh. You wanna know who I am? I want to know when he'll move. <laughs> it could be so rude in this game. Yes, please. I'm the famous ghost expert, Guten Kiesling. My hobby is clipping toenails. Well, you have guts to speak your name aloud in my presence. I am Evil King Stan, the Lord of Darkness and Evil. How do you do? My hobby is a world conquest and the harassment of fake evil kings. Huh. See the difference? I am a superior class of being. Now get out of my way. You're still green. A person like you who tells stale jokes to any passerby wouldn't understand. My main concern is to construct a new paradigm by hypothesizing the dichotomy of the light wave slash particle. Relationship to superdimensional, non corporeal, malicious existence exuding into the observable planes and how it permeates corporeal ideas of positive and negative morality and its num numerous permutations through... See the results of dictionary abuse. This is the day Ari chose violence. Look, I get really impatient when I'm walking on a narrow path and there's someone in front of me that just will not get out of the way. 
Ugh, no scientific babble. Just get out of my way and take your theories with you. Based on that theory, in order to establish a feasible hypothesis to plot empirical data, we must... The retreating figure in the drizzling rain on a dark and cold road and other metaphysical metaphors, bending time and reality. And there you have it. Cool, awesome, right on! Guten Kiesling, that's me! Ha ha ha, so long! Yeah, me too. Okay. Kiesling is the guy who stands at the top of the escalator. Exactly, you get me. It, like, it's not just the walking slow, it's like the actively obstructing. Oh, hello. This is a like a Tenelian uh, Tauros. Yeah, Stan just leaves. I mean, wouldn't you leave too? Ground beef comes from these. Like Stan, does he have like his hands on his hips? Well, you know, as much as he has hips. I got an energy flower. Cool, thank you. Hello. You look like you have a pumpkin for a head, but I think it's just your hair. I am a mysterious woman. I use mysterious words and deal in mysterious arts. Currently in Madrill, there are two gangs. They are involved in a terrible conflict. Please, don't go! It's dangerous! You are going anyway, aren't you? Oh, no! Yeah, okay. I genuinely can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not, and I don't want to know. Cool outfit, though. I, I see you! Come on. You're another creature, so I'll allow it. I love the face on it. Like, RPGs are so much more interesting when they have creatures like this out. Instead of, like, I don't know... A million goblins and orcs and trolls. Woohoo. Oh yay, and I leveled up. I learned mend. Ooh. I have a skill. I assume that's like a healing ability. Let's see. Men's, all right. What is the, the LP slash 10? I don't know what that means. I guess this, the cost of this is a percentage based, I assume. Kind of like physical skills in Shin Megami Tensei. I have a lot of these, so let's just use one. There we go. No gorsts. What's this? Insurmountable waste high log. Go no further west. Scary ghost hangout in big tree hole. The drill visitor's office. I want to go to the big tree hole. Uh, maybe I should go to like actual town first though before going into the big tree hole. Just in case it actually is full of ghosts. Oh. You know, now that I can look at these frogs a little better, I didn't appreciate at first that they're basically Venus flytraps, but frogs. Hey, they're carnivines! They really are, like, just, they're carnivines, just straight up. Eh. Not a very refined sword-swinging technique, but it gets the job done. Although I think most, most things are inherently weak to sword. I'm not an expert, but I just feel like, you know, I got a hunch. You'll say this about Okage, you don't think there's going to be a point where I'll be like, I wish this was weird or good. Genuinely, I want just more strange, weird games. Just media generally doing whatever it wants. Oh! I wonder if these are fast travel points. Whoa! He is like 15 and was handed this sword by a strange woman on a bridge. Oh, yeah. Probably the so-called stone circle. So does this take me back to the circus? Like my cult of the lamb cult. 
Yep. Also, shout out to one of my classmates in my JLPT prep course, who I saw on, on in their webcam in the background. They had a, a, a lamb plushie. I mean, lamb is in the, the protagonist of Cult of the Lamb, not just like a sheep. Okay. Well, that's fancy. And probably a little inefficient. A plus sheep is good to have. I actually have one because uh, forever ago at work... Well, I've heard this song before. Forever ago at work, um, I found like an abandoned sheep plush doll that I guess someone had just lost and forgotten about. And no one came to claim it, so I took it home and gave it a bath. Hmm. So this is Madrill. What a pitiful little town. <laughs> do I sense a, I do sense a strange mood in the air. Slave, stop loitering about and go and gather information for me. Oh, I want I want to hug a giant sheep plush. What should we do? Should we evacuate this town too? But I'm sure that well, that's some, that's some weird spacing in your text boxes. Did I miss the party? What, boy? Where did you come from, Tanel? Sorry that you had to come here from so far away in the countryside, but we've got big trouble in this town. Go on back home. I did miss the party. I want to cause trouble. Gentle flute music for your smog choked steampunk town. Like, when I heard this, this town music, Outside of the context of this game, to me it sounded like the kind of thing you would hear in like a, like a, a coastal town, not not grungy steampunk town. I am the sewer evil king. I plan to conquer the world. I am doing evil things in Madrill's underground sewer. Currently wanted evil monsters. Young people with cool haircuts come apply. Evil monster. Maybe I should apply. Are, are these knockoff evil kings, like, just putting up flyers for their services? That's good. Um, 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 uh. Well, you see, I just received the latest classification table from the royal capital. Would you believe there is a new category in the classification table called Evil King? And it looks like there isn't just one, but several. My, we're living in troubled times. Uh, uh. Let me guess, Stan isn't on that list either. We're gonna bond over, be forgot over being forgotten. Well, this is really annoying. One day, posters were hung up all over the walls in town. Evil king or not, this is really not a nice thing to do. Taking them down was such hard work. I worked overtime and managed to take them all down, though. I think the only poster that's left is hung over there. Keep it, it's a collector's item. Ugh. <sighs> No, we don't have the evil king matters. The hero is of jurisdiction over them. We let the heroes club handle it. Ugh, I think I'll go home early today. This is the heroes club. You want to ask the heroes something, boy? Usually I would just let you in, but it's crazy in there right now with everyone preparing to go on a sewer evil king punishment expedition. I have a sword. I'm, I'm cool. No, I'm not. The evil kings are trendy, which for some reason makes me think of the, um... I don't remember exactly what it was called in Ruby and Sapphire, pardon me, but the, the trendy phrase that you could set. If anyone remembers what I'm talking about, or like you would pick words from a list and make a trendy phrase. And if you got creative, you could make some silly ones. Dill! Dill! What, are you gone again? What's wrong with my child? I wonder how long he'll keep tagging along with Maggie. You named your child Dill, huh? Everybody's gonna call him Dillweed. This is not good. Certainly, or traditionally in Madrill, folks on this first level and the rich folks of this on the second level have never gotten along. But that's no reason why even the children should split into factions and fight. Something about that reminds me just a tiny, tiny bit of Breath of Fire 4. Just a tiny bit. The door is shut tight. Oh, I want to see the children gang war. Which is, it's just Splatoon, I guess. 
kind of wish the town also had a mini map. So this was this was the, the mayor's office. I have not gone in here, I don't think. This strange narrow building. Hello, child. Hi, what's your name? My name is Toby. Hi, Toby. Okay, bye, Toby. Good talk. I agree, this game has a great sense of humor, and the wonky translation really adds to that. Just the whole... Oh. I lost my train of thought because my I just felt a, a rumble and I looked at my cat. It's on the desk. Please, Onyx, no. Hey, hey, you'll be sorry if you think that I'm just a little kid. I may not look like much, but I'm a member of the Spotted Cat Team, the ruler of shadows in Madrill. Ruler of shadows, eh? Those are big words, small fry. I'll put you in your place. <laughs> Get him st- <laughs> You know what, yeah, I want you to beat up this child. Whoa! Hey, what's that? Oh, cool! That shadow looks bad. Oops, I mean, uh, you with your shady tricks. You must be a Whisker Mole Team spy. I will report to my leader later. This town will never be yours, Whisker Mole Team. Oh, come on, Stan. Come on. You're gonna wimp out. I, I like that you can also tell him, like, grow up, Stan, but no, I, I wanted to see violence. Darn those guys. I can't stand the snobs in the second level. I was born and bred on the first level. I prefer slugs to the pretentious folks on the second level, you hear? Why, oh, just the other day, a rich punk from the second floor had the nerve to tell me he wanted to marry my girl when they grew up. So I slapped his little head and chased him away. <laughs> there were no survivors. It is very realistic child dialogue, isn't it? Hello, what is your name? My name is Name and my favorite animal is Cake. Yeah. What's your favorite animal, Onyx? It's probably tuna. So that doesn't really work because, I mean, that, that is a food and a flavor. Do you see that strange-looking door to the right of this inn? That's the automatic vertical transporter. As you probably know, here in Madrill, the town has two stories. To get to the second level, you take the automatic vertical transporter and up you go. How cool is that? Too bad it's not operating right now because of the evil king incident. I bet Stan could lift me up there if he wanted to. We may call ourselves the Screwdriver Inn, but it's not like we serve screws for dinner. So don't worry and eat with us. I mean, do you? there's a cocktail called a Screwdriver. I don't remember what's in it, but I know it's, it exists. Everyone knows that I'm Mr. Know-It-All in Madrill. What would you like to know, my son? Sorry, nothing. About Evil Kings in Madrill. A orange juice and vodka, thank you. An evil king who calls himself Sewer King apparently lives in the town's underground sewer. Lately, there have been posters hung up all over the town without s about some plan to conquer the world. I call myself Mr. Know-It-All, yet I had no clue an evil king lived in the town's sewer. I'm so ashamed. Well, we're really gonna start with the sewer level early, huh? Well, get it out of the way, I suppose. Okay. I would like to know about dealing with evil kings. Oh, that? Don't worry. I'm sure heroes will defeat the evil kings. If you want to know about heroes, go to the Heroes Club in this town, behind the town hall. I don't like how you're saying that with quotes. Oh, Miss Madrill. Can't you feel my pure and beautiful heart beat for you? How could it be that I, with my super handsome features, don't live up to her standards? Oh, it couldn't be. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Getting hammered for breakfast. Oh, vodka feels like a lot for breakfast. Like if I'm if I ever am out for brunch, which is very rare, I do I do like a mimosa. A couple of times I've had a mimosa with, with mango juice, which is delicious. Due to a current sewer evil king punishment expedition, no one from the general public is allowed beyond this point. So beat it. Man, that felt good. I've always wanted to boss people around like this. Ugh. 
I became a temporary soldier at the Heroes Club request. Oh, real, real yawn. Whoa. But it's so boring just standing here. I'm the kind of person where if I read the word yawn, I yawn for real. Like I did for that other dialogue. Well, okay. So can I, like, sneak my way into the Heroes Guild? I'm decently heroic, I think. Oh, hello! What do you mean I was too late? Do you know how far I had to travel to get here? You'd better let me in or else. Hey, don't get mad at me, but we're not accepting any more hero applicants. No use going in there. Never mind, let me in! Yes, ma'am! But wait, your parasol. Oh, there she goes inside with it open. Yeah, come on, you know that's bad luck. This is the Heroes Club. You know, let me in, let me in. Oh. Hmm. I don't really understand why, but I sense that I'll find that dreadful hero Hopkins right in here. What? What's that shadow? Besides, Hero Hopkins is the name of the great hero from 300 years ago. Oh, Stan doesn't know what year it is. Oh, I, I didn't I mean to... Okay, yeah, you go home early. Well, now I guess I wander around until I can trigger whatever um, the, the next event is, I suppose. You're not gonna... Hmm... So they mentioned in. Can I can I save in? Uh, man, what was what was this? Is the elevator? But S E K Sewer Evil King seeks Y E M Young Evil Monsters to help take over the world, just like I've taken over this elevator. How would you like to engage in such powerful activities with me? Must be into world conquest, punk music, positive attitude, a plus. Can I sign up? No. Also, hello, Belle. Also, that's really cute. You and Kato catching each other's yawns. Your cat clearly has a great deal of empathy. You say this is an inn, but it's not really, is it? Oh, wait. No. The door is shut tight. Nejima washi. I don't know what that might mean. And I can't save here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Too bad. It's real cool, but I can't see it. I don't know if I've done that specifically with any... Oh, here... A yawn for real. Because uh, I just read the word again. <laughs> I don't know if I have. Like, maybe. I've just never really consciously thought about it. Because I'm always big sleepy. Where is Onyx, incidentally? He's no longer on the desk. Uh... He is, I think, in a donut on the couch. Well, golly. Where do I go? I'm just- I'm going back in houses to see if anything is different. But I guess I could go back to the Heroes Guild, maybe? Oh, I haven't been in here. I thought I had. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm the gypsy fortune teller. There is a reason I can't reveal my real name. But love fortune teller master number two is what people call me. Nobody calls you that. You don't- you don't have to tell me my fortune of love, it's cool. Oh, come on, you don't want any love? Oh, poor you. Maybe I don't, huh? Hello, welcome to the Madrill Overlook Hotel. Show us take a break. Thank you for staying with us. We hope you have a pleasant stay. Nobody's making me pay. How oh, nice. Which is good, because, like, the, the monsters drop, like, two dollars. Uh, let's save. Thank you for staying with us this way, please. I'm so curious about, like, neutral, normal, normal. Can I have, like, multiple status effects at once? I hope not. Miserable. I have it be like Etrian Odyssey, where there's, like, a, a tier list, a priority tier list of uh, status effects. Nothing in here. Probably nothing in here either, but I have to look. You know, the, the one room I don't look into has stuff in it, of course. Ugh. I mean, I guess I am sleepy, but still. I might still go a little longer, because I want to I wanna 
figure out where I'm going. Okay. Um, I could maybe try leaving town and see if I get stopped. To see if that's like the trigger for the next part of whatever's going on. Because I mean there is that, that other path that I didn't take because what was it? Big tree hole? Full of ghosts? And I mean, if if it, it's full of really tough ghosts, whoa, hi, slave! I need positive reinforcement. What do you think about me? Speak quickly and make it good. <laughs> so, do I have to combine a down fifty percent like he's discount? An almighty a push discount, Demon King. How an almighty. Hmm, all right. Then... Lousy. Bloated. <laughs> I, I, I'm torn between wanting to feed his ego and also wanting to be mean. But I feel like I shouldn't- I shouldn't antagonize the, the creature that is possessing me. He can be a little bloated. Show proper devotion! And then... An almighty, bloated, evil king stand. Yeah, sounds about right. So you think me an almighty, bloated, evil king stand, eh? Do you seek to invite the full brunt of my dark fury? Flatter me no more. Just do whatever you want and lose. What? That was so weird. Like, was that... What triggered that? Like, because I was about to hit this onion baby, or was that gonna happen anyway, and I just happened to, like, was about to run into the onion baby anyway? Should I- should you explain, or do I want to be mystified? I don't know! I guess... What I want to know is... Was that triggered... With me, like, about to start combat? Or was that just really funny timing? Like, hang on, before you fight these onion babies, I need you to stroke my ego. Oh, it sometimes triggers at the start of random encounters. Okay. So it's not just like every once in a while when you're wandering the world map or when you progress the plot, there will be parts where Stan is like, hey, I need you to say nice things about me. Not that I need you to, but you should. Every so often, Stan gets needy. What do you mean, every so often? And not in perpetuity. And if he wasn't needy, he wouldn't be reminding everyone about how great he is. And evil. And powerful. And terrifying. Um, okay, no, I, di I didn't go past it. Yeah, here we go. I just got turned around by the onion. I also, I also need you to know that when I say onion babies, in the, like, the... Recesses of my mind. There's a part of it singing the Muppet Babies theme song, but onion babies. You, you know, you don't need that. Oh. Oh. A ghost popped out. Now I'm, I'm curious if when Stan pops up because he needs to be flattered, he needs to know that he's needed and important. Whoa. Um. If, like, telling him what he wants to hear will give me a buff in combat. Or if I'm needlessly rude to him, if he will sabotage my efforts in battle. Well, I'm really, really not getting much money from stuff. Now I see why, like, the healing items in town were so cheap. Well, that's useless. If only I had a crowbar. And I could have gone past the forbidden door in my house, too. It is a mystery. What will he do? You know, I'm surprised that I haven't 
I haven't done the thing with Stan that I often do where I, I butcher characters' names by lengthening them into completely the wrong name. Like with Resident Evil, with, with Beryl's and uh, Jillum Defoe. But again, I can't... It's, it's like calling Chris Christopher. I can't call him that because that's a normal extension. It's not weird. And I can't call Stan Stanley. That's what he wants. Yeah, worm off on the string. What will he do? But evil king with a fragile eagle, what will he do? I don't know what you're thinking, but that person's been dead for a long, long time now. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to respond differently. What? So, who is the hero today? Well, it's hard to say who. There are more than a dozen heroes in Madrill alone right now. What did you say? You fool! There can only be one hero! That's just the way it is, isn't it? Oh, whatever. I don't really care. Here, I'll let you win. You can check it out yourself. Standle with care? <laughs> Stanifer. Standle in the wind. He does kind of look like he would blow away in a sharp breeze, doesn't he? The Royal Braveheart Salon. <laughs> Check it out. Take a look at the chick with the parasol. She's the hero who's the laughing stock of town. <laughs> so, like I said, I'll make an exception and give you a number, but you still have to wait for your turn. Can I just say from this angle, this man looks like a Bob's Burgers character? Well, he looks like Bob without the nose. You see what I mean, right? You see my vision. That won't do. How many times do I have to tell you to get you to understand? Let me pass through the management office now. Well, let me just say this. You should be grateful that I'm giving you a number at all. You have the thumb face. And besides, you shouldn't have an umbrella open indoors, you know. You're a hero. You should know better. Well, it's because... Of course, I understand why it bothers you so much. <laughs> Everyone knows your shadow is... You get him. <laughs> Dang. You know, you know this this guy is like, whoa, that's hot. Hey, you. Do you know what happens when that chick closes her parasol? <laughs> oh, that hurt. That wasn't very nice. I mean, you were kind of rude. Whatever. <laughs> well, there are all sorts of heroes, you know. Oh, that woman. I believe her name is Rosalind. I hear she's really good, but, you know, she's got, you know, what? <laughs> God, it hurts. Well, why don't you ask her yourself why she uses a parasol? Be careful you don't let her hit you. <laughs> I'm an agony. But well, he's just twitching. I like that regardless of how Ari responds to people, I think they just give him the same response anyway. So I don't know if my dialogue options actually have any meaningful effect, which I think enhances the whole experience. Especially what it, it's probably like to, to be Ari. Super evil king. I wonder what kind of an evil king he is. Well, I guess if he's evil, an evil king, he'd be covered in dark, shiny, coarse hair and have twisted horns. Then he'd have this thick tail and a slimy body surface. He'd be growling in a low, deep voice. Yikes. I think I just changed my mind about going underground. Well, Stan, where's your coarse hair and your, your horns and your tail? You want to get with it. Some of them affect friendship values. No, like, only some of them, though? So can I be rude to certain people? Like that scientist fellow? Um, without consequence? Because sometimes I want to be a rude boy. What's your hero ranking? 164th, eh? I'm 161st. I win! Be rude to Kisling all I want. Wonderful. The friendship values having people I've met so far are Ari's dad, Julia Stan, and Roz. But that's only three ranks difference! Can I talk to... So, you're from the general public. Anything you'd like to know? What is a hero ranking? It's a rating system in which all the heroes are ranked against each other to decide who is the best hero. The ultimate aim is to determine the great hero. 
who will fight against the great evil king that is said to come again someday. I can't, I can't fight my, my BFF. IDK, my BFF Stan. What is the sewer management office? It is the only entrance to the sewer that is said to be haunted by the sewer evil king. Presently, the heroes are going underground from there, in droves. The general public is not allowed in. That's all. Oh, well, that's all. I guess I can't, I can't get past, uh, Bob. Oh, Onyx is here. He's jumped on the desk from the opposite side. He's said to be haunted. He literally put up posters. Yeah, those, those could be photoshopped. Oh my gosh, Onyx. Well, Onyx is actually watching not the screen itself, but the preview in OBS. I won't have it. He's just some phony called the Sewer Evil King or something. Why is it that he's the only one that the heroes are after when I'm the true evil king? What an insult. <laughs> you were in a bottle for centuries, too. <laughs> you, you want heroes to go after you? <laughs> and of course, I'll apply my backhand to those second-rate heroes in a flash. You think Stan plays tennis? Anyway, it is moi who will defeat this so-called sewer evil king. I will show those lamer heroes who the true evil king is. Slave, go and begin your search. Lamer? What do you mean, lamer? Like, what was it? Was like 3,000 years ago? Like 2002? I just picked a year. I don't know when people use lamer. I've never been that cool. I'm a lamer. Um. Okay. Oh wait, no, this is, this is, this isn't, no, this isn't where I heal. This is not the inn, this is the pub. I mean, I do need to try and find, a uh, Rosalind, though. Rosalind? Do you say Rosalind or Rosalind? Or maybe you just say, how dare you speak to me? See, this, this town does not have handy large print signs above the entrances to its buildings, so I forget... What is what? Yeah, guy who says moi and also lamer in the same paragraph. He is a weird person. He's delightful. I mean, if he's evil, of course he knows French. Yeah, I'll, I'll heal just since I, I got lightly dinged up. Also, I'm gonna sip some water. Delicious to delicious. Sorry, I, I was reading the word uh, multitudes in chat as I was trying to say delicious, and it came out as delicious tood. <laughs> Stan also contains delicious tood. Okay, so I need to find Rosalind. I don't know where she would have gone. What's happening now? I cannot believe that we have an evil king right here in Madrill. Hey, weird old woman! Where is that evil king you're talking about? Answer me or I'll gobble you whole! Huh? What's this strange shadow? Ha <laughs> ha, don't mind him. He is an evil king too. A handful. He, yeah, he's an evil king too. I don't know. I just don't understand young people's sense of humor anymore. If you want to know about the evil king, go to the town hall over there. Everyone's there talking. Yet nothing I say matters, just like real life. Listen, boy, we have an evil king in this town. There is no telling what will happen. Huh. So that map of evil king, uh, map of evil kings was real after all. Huh? What's that shadow? Oh, hey, you, you that, cir you that circus boy? That must be a magic trick, right? You're imagining this entire day. Hey, old man! How dare you treat me like a magic trick every chance you get! Ha ha ha, whatever. At any rate, it's much too dangerous right now. Children, stay inside. Yes, Dan, stay inside. But everything will be okay. I do believe that, ultimately, justice prevails. No matter if a cowardly evil king plans to destroy our idyllic town of Madrill. Look, our heroes. Those inspiring paradigms of justice are arriving in Madrill as we speak. Heroes? Did you say heroes? Bah! 
So heroes are in this town, eh? That's right. I just know that the heroes will defeat evil. Strange Shadow, don't you think so too? Enough is enough, you scum. Don't you dare say another foolish word or I'll twist your neck off you. Still, did you say heroes? Hopkins is still alive. Blast it all. I wonder if the thought of like, no, Hopkins has been dead for like 300 years would, would depress Stan. I don't know. Name, young man who believes in justice. Yeah, maybe, maybe his parents were, um... Oh, bother, why can't I remember? Um... Uh, you know, you know, uh, uh... Like when pilgrims came to the U.S. And they would give their, their children, like, very virtuous names. They would be very long and often, um, they would get, like, silly. But I can't, I can't think of what, what they're actually called. Like, the only word my brain is giving me is Protestants, and it's not, it's not a Protestant thing. Ow. The best such name thing was in Tactics Over... Was it Knights of Lotus that stood for? Where a guy was initially identified as Young Man, and then someone calls him Richter, and then the tag changes to Young Man Named Richter. <laughs> just gets progressively longer. I don't I do not think this is the direction where I really have to go. Um Yeah, you know, my thought is what if what if Rosalind is is this way, but there's no reason she would be. This is not where the, the sewer is. I, I don't I don't think I would yeah. No nobody here. So I can go back into town. I guess this is all I just gotta wander about until I figure out what triggers the next scene. You get his nas... Na I was gonna say nas lame. His last name later, but you don't think the character limit would fit young man named Richter Lasanti. Shame, really. Makes you think of the people I've seen in Splatoon who I'm pretty sure are trying to make their splash tag titles like the longest combination possible. Which I gotta respect. For some reason, like, I'm trying to think of a really good one off the top of my head, but I just know a really common one that I see as the second half of the title is, um, Yoko and the Gold Bazookas Fan, which is one of the in-game fictional bands. Um, they play ska. Actually, the, the song that I sent you that sounded like, um, like a Ferris wheel rolling out of control, but ska, was, was Yoko and the Gold Bazookas. But I can't think of any, like, good first parts. Also, Onyx is, uh... He is real interested in the OBS feed of this game. I don't know, what do, what do you think of Stan, Onyx? Okay, where do I actually have to go to progress? Like, did I miss talking to someone? Or did I miss an entrance somewhere? Oh, like, there's, like, a door that just leads into a precipice. Don't go out that door. Onyx, do you feel any void solidarity with that guy? He jumped off the desk. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I can't... I can't... apply to that. Where else can I go? Um, like, my only other thought is, like, I miss talking to someone in here, or that I had to talk to those three people outside to trigger another scene. You don't say anything different, do you? No. You're still you're still reading this and contemplating. I mean, you know, if you find a good job opportunity, might as well take it. Okay, yeah, you, you say the same thing. Uh-huh, you say the same thing about littering. And you probably say the same thing, yep. Big sleepy. This guy reminds me of someone. Actually, he kind of reminds me of um the, the Tavern Keeper from Etrian Odyssey Nexus, Gvasir, who unfortunately is the worst Tavern Keeper in all of the Etrian Odyssey games. Like, just... Just like a dirty old man character. Not fun. Which is a shame, because like all the other um, Tavern Keepers in the series have been great. For some reason, I feel the presence of two evil kings in this town. And one is not too far from me at all. 
I wonder where it could be. I wonder. Sewer evil. Yeah, okay. Pro probably smelly, I would guess, if he's in the sewer. Okay, yeah, you, you say the same thing. Okay, now I can go back here. I gotta talk to the gang children? Oh, I can go back here. I can't do it. Why would you even let me out this door then? I can't even throw myself into the void. I'm sure if I tried, Stan would pick me up by the scruff of my neck, being like, Oh no, you don't. Get back here. Sorry, I mean, oh no, you don't, slave. No destroying yourself in a fit of peak on my watch. Okay, gang children. Yeah, the gang children surely would be able to, like, get me the hookup to some secret underground passage. Hey, hey, you whisker mole team spy. It's not fair for you to act so big just because you have a curious shadow. I know everything about this town, but I won't tell guys like you anything. Oh, but do tell me. Huh. I will never tell you that there is a back way that goes through the east side of town that only we know about. I won't tell you even if you torture me that Toby watches that secret entrance. That wasn't hard at all. Oops. But I'll never tell as long as I live that my name is Del. Oh, you're, you're, you're Dilweed. Dilberto. Okay, which house was Toby in? Thank you for the nudge about the gang children. Hey, your your son's outside. Oh. What what is wrong with your son? Oh, this is not where Toby is. Forgive, I have forgot. Because there's no convenient sign hanging over the door that says Toby. Was this the Toby house? I don't think it was the Toby house. Oh, it was the Toby house. Hey, what's your name? Do you want a pass? Well, can you say, like, the password? Yeah, if I wanted to. Um, Spotted Cat Team is the best. Yeah, the Spotted Cats? They're great. Maggie's so pretty, you know? Go on, you can pass. Why, why is just, like, that one word, pretty? Don't start turning into a Hattie Time Seal, kid. Or you'll start saying things like, Tank will miss... An egg. Okay, I can act, I can walk on the pipe here. Okay. Well, who knew this void door would actually help me out after all? All right, all heroes, please be patient and wait in a single file. Oh, and please do not lose the number I gave you. Yes, yes, in a single file, please. How much longer? How much? I've been standing in line all day. I bet by now the guys who went underground before me have defeated the evil king. Stupid. I just left to go to the restroom. I totally thought one of them was going to make a joke like, is this the line for the bathroom? Hey, hey, you! No cutting in line! How dare you call yourself a hero with such manners? What? What are you staring at? Go away! Um, you have a great parasol. Are you hitting on me? Sorry, I've got better things to do. No, I'm hitting on your parasol! <laughs> Seed headbands, but yours. No, I, where did you get your parasol? It's very fashionable. What? Where did I buy my umbrella? That's none of your business. Do you think I'm stupid or something? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just lost my temper. I usually don't get mad this easily, you know? Yes, once I was a gentle, beautiful girl leading a fabulous life as an elite of the Heroes University. Go on. Yes, my life was wonderful until that abominable incident. Since then, I've been looking for the guy who ruined my life. It's been a long and difficult journey. You can't blame me for losing my temper from time to time, I guess. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I, I guess. Yes. So I finally searched him out. 
The sewer evil king must be the detestable enemy I've been looking for. How could I just sit and wait for my turn? But of course, there must be a back route to the sewer somewhere in this town. Yes, there must be. Look for it, Rosalyn. What am I waiting for? Let's get going. I hope her, her name tag continues to change. All right. Well, I can't cut in line, can I? Admittance is currently limited due to heroes filing up or filling up the office, sewer management office. Yeah, I guess we'd be in violation of the fire code if too many of us went in there, and that's not safe. You know, if you're going to exterminate an evil demon king, you got to do it safely. Oh, I'm on the other side of these guys. Oh, they yawned again. Wah. I can't help it. I am the sewer evil king. One day I will conquer the worlds. But for now, this house in Madrill will do. How would you like to join me? For details, call 1555. I am evil. Unfortunately, cell phones have not been invented yet, so Ari's out of luck. Oh. Come on. Let me let me break in. Let me do a little crime as a treat. Okay, so Rosalind has run off somewhere, and I can't seem to go anywhere else in this back alley. Well, look, I'm the general public, and I'm beyond this point. What are you going to do about it? Clown shoes? Yeah, I guess I just want to make sure before I leave that there's really there's nothing else I can do here. And before I save and call it an evening, I do want to have an idea where I'm going next. So I don't start the next stream and then spend a while, uh, running around. I swear, I can't believe what the Spotted Cat team did. I just can't believe that they left some junk by a deserted building to block the street. And they come in and go through a manhole, calling it a secret back way. I should tell Maggie to cut back on the kids' games and spend more time on beauty treatments, like me. The assistant boy noticed Ari's fruit knife. Oh my. Hey, boy, where did you get this? At the blacksmith's in Tanel? I see. Hey, boy, do you realize how incredibly valuable this stuff is? The curve, the crest. No mistake that this is the work of Kumagoro IV, aka the vanguard of swords, swords, smithery. You know, swords to vanquish ghosts. It's been ten years since the genius that led the postmodern smithery movement disappeared. So that's where he's been. I'll pay you 300 sukel for this. Sell it to me. Let me think about it. Oh, uh, it's too bad. Come again if you change your mind. Is this is this wimping out if I ask, is there a reason to not sell him the fruit knife? It's hard to tell in games like this where if it's, uh, here's a way to get money or this is, you know, not gonna screw you over later, but maybe you could have gotten something good if you hadn't been so eager to part with it. Hello, come and take a look inside. I have a lineup of some great tools. I am a little curious if you don't mind checking. Ordinary sword, okay. Clean outfit. I mean, I, I got enough money. And a clean outfit. I feel like it might be cheaper just to do some laundry, Ari, but, you know. Ordinary sword. Wow. I wonder if this is one of those games where you can really appreciate the, uh, the stat points ga point gains you get from levels and equipment. Or if it all just kind of blends together. Like, like not to bring up Etrian Odyssey again, although of course I'll bring up Etrian Odyssey again. But in that game, like, your level ups felt like they meant something. Like, each level, you, you could feel how much stronger you've gotten. I can haggle him up to 400 money. So what do you say? Change your mind? Fine, I'll splurge and pay 400 sukel for that fruit knife. Sell it to me! Okay. Great! Here's the money. You know what you should have done, Ari, is stab him and then take the money anyway. From time to time, a wandering peddler visits our town. When he comes, the store owner always loans him a space here for setting up shop. Come again sometime if you're interested. I see why there's a teleportal outside this town. 
Also, my, my real big question, is there a space limit in the inventory? Okay, so here's all the junk that I can't get past. So I guess I need to, like, hit up the local rapscallions and be like, Hey, what a heck. Do something. Move your junk. Move your garbage. Hey. Okay, you don't you don't say anything different. Tobadaya. I can't I can't waste one of my my terrible names on this child. He's not important. Hey you. Darn, I'll never say again that there is a back way that goes through the east side of town that only we know about, and that Toby watches it. You hear? Okay, I guess that's all I'm gonna get. Well, I guess. Hmm. Where did I? Where did I? Yeah, I went out that door, but there was no pipe that I could walk on, and I can't walk on this pipe without going out that door, even though, I mean, it's it's right there. I mean, if no one's posted anything about there being a limited inventory in this game, I'll assume that there, there probably isn't, and that I don't have to worry so much about selling my stuff. Um, so there's junk in the way. How do I get past the junk is the thing. Is there someone else I have to talk to? get them to move it? Or is there something I'm just missing on that part of town? So again, I want to figure out where I'm going first uh, before saving and calling it an evening. So I don't start next week's stream going, what the heck am I doing? Yeah, you're still looking for your child. And yeah, you're, you're still talking about um, uh, baby fights. You know what's keen is I've played a few games where um, they'll, they'll, there will be an indication of some sort where you've exhausted all the dialogue options for an NPC, which I appreciate. Because of course I want all the dialogue, but I don't want to, you know, waste my time going around trying to talk to people when it's just going to be fruitless in the end. Ugh, Ugh sleepy. Let me, let me have at least another look around here. No safety railings or anything around here. Well, I guess it's a good way to ensure that the children get plenty tough. No wonder an evil king moved in. Okay, yeah, so you're you're the same old guards. There's no other entrances. And then this is just the posting. Like, why, why can't I just go in? Come on, Stan, you're not too good for a little breaking and entering. And, uh, of course, we can't, we can't step over this insurmountable waist-high junk. Oh, oh, this is the manhole cover. I didn't realize she was standing on it. Well, okay, I figured out where I'm going. Hooray. Well, it's a good thing I, I took a bit so I could uh, get myself kitted out. And also, we don't have to see Ari spend, like, you know, several minutes trying to climb the ladder and then probably wheezing when he gets to the top because he has little noodly arms. I'm here. Okay, what's this? Hey, who are you? You can't enter without permission. We are engage- or, oh, sorry, that's still her talking. We are engaging in a bloody battle. Leader, it's him. I didn't want to, but he forced me to reveal the secret back way info. Oh, but he could do a trick with his shadow. It's totally hilarious. Hold your tongue, sewer rats. Mock the evil king Stan and you'll meet a speedy end. Wow, it's true. Cool. I mean, um, talk down to us again and I'll teach you a lesson. That's right. This is the boss of the Calicos, Maggie. You can't scare us with your shadow. Our leader is a tomboy. We call her Maggie of the Cuts and Bruises. I know. You are a cat's paw of the Whisker Moles. Eh, what's that gibberish? Whatever, slave, let's go. We have important things to do. I don't have time to play hopscotch with these children. These brats wouldn't know their way around the sewer anyway. <laughs> the back way to the sewer? You bet we know it. But it's a back way just for us. And I'm not gonna tell you. You are a sneaky spy from the Whisker Moles. Bah! Enough lip stripling. What is this whisker something or other? 
I am the evil King Stan. Don't play the fool. Bah. Well, well, having an internal dispute? That's typical of the Calicos. Low-class kitties. Robert? <laughs> raggedy Maggie looking ragged and maggedy as always, huh? This building is our territory. The goody-goodies of the Whisker Mole should just fawn over their mammy upstairs. Oh, callous calicos use such catty words. Besides, you're wrong about one thing. The back of this building is already under control of the Whisker Moles. What? When? You pretend to be a goody-goody but do such crappy things. Huh. It's sad. The only thing an underdog can do is bark. Anybody can enter from anywhere into such a rotten building. By the way, I've got something you might want to see. This is your cat, isn't it? Oh no! Dilbert! Give my Dilbert back to me! It's unfair to take a cat as hostage! Whoa, you were rude. I just gave shelter to a stray cat. Come to the back room of this building and I can give him back to you. If you can get to the room, that is. <laughs> hey, new member of my whisker moles. Come out and say hello to the calicos. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you give up? Just submit and give up. Yeah, give up. <laughs> Coward, you whisker moles. Leader, what should we do? I won't give up. I have a new member too. Right? Me? Where? <laughs> what a shaky member. <laughs> well, <clears throat> see you in the back room. <laughs> I'm doing this to get into the sewer. It's so pathetic. Krabby Robert will prepare a sleazy trap. I'm counting on you, new member. Ugh, I can't stand it. Don't be absurd. If you get my cat back, I'll tell you about the back way into the sewer. So, Stan, you know, you're always bragging about how you can rip people apart. I want to see it. A death match in a ruined building. A bloody fight over territory. Darn, it's hot, isn't it? If you get my cat back, I'll tell you about the back way into the sewer. I'm counting on you, new member. Okay, let me let me do this before calling an evening. Hopefully this isn't like an hour dungeon. Why do I have to push heavy boxes into such a place? I'm just shedding tears. Oh my god. I feel for her. Whoa! This is Robert's favorite. Boxes you can push but can't pull! The exit is blocked by boxes you can push but can't pull! Think hard about the order you need to push them in to clear the exit. Mmm, you have to think hard. Wow, it looks hard. Go for it, new member. Oh no, Robert's favorite activity. I didn't want it, I was trying to talk to Maggie. Oh, that's fine. I feel so pathetic. Why does a noble like me have to be involved in a child's fight? Slave! This is all your fault! You slow, slow, slow slave! Oh, calm down there, Stanley. Hey, you can push them, but you can't pull them! Like, Ari's just doing this on his own. I didn't even have to solve the baby puzzle. Ari just did it. Oh, well, she didn't have any new dialogue anyway, so it doesn't matter. Dang, Ari's so smart. I never would have solved that. It's like a metaphor for life, isn't it? You can push, but you can't pull. Robert! Oh, I didn't think you would break my trap this fast. Robert, you promised. Give Dilbert back to me. Oh, huh, no way. I told you I can, but I didn't say I will. It's not fair. Not fair, not fair. Robert, why are you so mean to me? Stupid Robert. <laughs> Crying won't help. What? <laughs> Ow! Why did you do that for a new member? Just cut it out! 
I don't care if you do fight. At least you have an adult involved. But it was the worst excuse. Making a girl cry is the worst, too. Do you understand? Huh? Answer me. But, uh, but it's Maggie's fault. Maggie was... She was... Damn, I hate you, Maggie. I hate, 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 hate you. Um, what should I do? Um, retreating. Oh! Whoa. Is this a real cat? I think it's just a doll. Oh, he did like my leader. Man's heart gets too involved. The leader doesn't have a clue. I guess the fight will go on. I will get into it next time, too. She will slap a child. She's pretty cool. No, I don't condone slapping children. It was a joke. I can't stand Robert. I'll cut him into pieces the next time I see him. I have more faith of Maggie going through with her threats than Stan. Meow. Meow. Huh, whatever. Why does an innocent cat have to be involved? Wait, th that cage is not big enough for Dilbert. I see. Boys. Ari played Zelda once. Yeah, he's very good at pushing boxes. Yeah, Ari can talk cats, I guess. Hey, new member! Wait, wait! Thank you for helping. I keep my promises. You can enter the sewer through the manhole at the back of this building. I'll leave the gate open so you can go in any time. Hey, wait! Wait, you over there. You aren't going into the sewer, are you? An evil king is in there. <laughs> Gosh, really? Don't be silent like that. Anyway, don't go into the sewer. Do you understand? Okay? Wait, people just really do not hear anything coming out of my mouth. My god, this is what my life feels like? No one takes me seriously. Chew! Go away, hero! Stop being nosy and mind your premature wrinkles! Whose voice was that? Oops. Darn. <clears throat> it's me. Sorry. Or, sorry to be so rude, miss. Are you a ventriloquist? Whatever. You are really rude, though. Anyway, are you really going to go? Ahem, <clears throat> that's right, miss. So go away and leave me be. I cannot let you. But I guess you have a reason? Yes? Well, I have to enter the sewer anyway. I'll just go down with you. Nothing I say matters. Stan, what should we do? Stupid, shut up! Just run away from this woman! I am fine by myself. Hey, are you okay? Are you sick or something? I'm really worried. I'll go with you for a while anyway. My name is Rosalind. Yours? Oh, Ari. Nice to meet you, Ari. Ari, I think you still have to prepare, so I'll wait for you. Okay, you, you say the same thing. All right. Well, now, now I have a way forward. So I can probably go back. I assume the only save point is, is at the inn, so I will have to go back there, but... But now I know where to go to make progress. Um, I assume that... Uh, whoa. Oh, I can just go in now. But the, the, the trash is gone, so it doesn't matter. Oh, and the guards are gone. Even better. All it took was Rosalind slapping a child. Now, I, I must be very clear that uh, between now and when I stream this next week, I will have forgotten um, what buildings I have and have not been into in the back. So, sorry. Please forgive me. Do I, do I need to heal? Well, like, it's like two health, but still. I mean, I'm about to, to save and quit anyway, so I can, I can wait an extra five seconds. Okay, cool. Well, I am going to call it an evening now because it's very late and I'm sleepy. But thank you so much, everyone. This is such a charming game. I am delighted by how strange it is and I am very much looking forward to playing more of this. Um, so Resident Evil will be on Wednesday. Remember, I'm streaming on Wednesdays just temporarily uh, while my classes are happening. And I'm going to continue this next Friday. However, um... 
probably tomorrow, I'm going to do one of my rare Saturday streams at um, noon Pacific time because, uh, so F099 got an update. I guess it's a year old now. Hooray. And I haven't checked it out yet, but they added um, some Satellaview F0 courses. And I have not looked at it yet because I thought, what if I streamed it on Saturday? So I might do that tomorrow. So if you want to hang out or race with me or whatever, uh, you can do that. But in the meantime, thank you for joining me for such a fun and charming game. I hope you have a wonderful evening, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care. I will catch you next time, maybe tomorrow. Oyasumi nasai.